What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and today we are finally here to bring you episode 2 of Senren Kagura. That shit was live as hell, man. Um, we actually have a dollar coming from um, Macho Jumbled Corn. This dude's been storing some support since yesterday. Um, Etika, you called me Bizarro Flame. Um, I apologize. Holy shit, I didn't even realize, man. But um, the support is appreciated. Thank you for sticking with my black ass through and through. Anyways, guys, we have a lot to do with Senren Kagura because I've loved this game ever since I stopped the stream the last time because even though the frame rate is bad the gameplay is addictive and you know the style of it too let's not lie man of course it's attractive on the outside it's very eye appealing but at the same time the gameplay is just so fun like a beat em up kind of game like that always cool you know a game you can just kind of pick up really fast get into it put it down you know Fire Emblem isn't necessarily that kind of game but still it's cool to have a game like that Smash Brothers I think is like that as well too you just beat up stuff you just beat up stuff you put it down and it's fun it's extremely fun i'm having a blast with it so of course with me having a lot of fun with the game i've done some stuff off camera but not too much we didn't do any story all i did was play with the characters a little bit and i don't mean in that way but i played with the characters a little bit just to, you know level them up and see how the hell you play the game but i didn't touch any characters that i didn't touch in the live stream so the only characters that i played with are hibari um asuka and that other girl what's what's her name um and um, Ikaruga, I think. Ikaruga, yeah. So, I mean, I didn't really do that much with the game. Um, and by the way, you know, thank you guys for the support. As usual, it's crazy how much you guys are willing to go out of your way to help my black ass. I appreciate every single bit of assistance. You know, I mean, and, you know, like I said, it, um, if you want your message read like that, I guess. Um, the Fast Cockroach. Man, I, never, I remember your ass from yesterday. I remember your ass from yesterday, nigga. I am back, my nigga. Yo, I remember your black ass. I remember your ass. I used to deal with your ass on a regular basis. Now I'm good. But anyways, guys, um, the support is appreciated. Like, this gentleman right here keeps my lights on, keeps food in my stomach, and I appreciate it big time. Anyways, without further ado, I've been talking my ass off, man. We don't need any more of that. Um, Joe donated a dollar saying I thought you were a news channel. I thought so, too, man. I thought so, too, but I, I guess things changed. Anyways, guys, um, let's get into the gameplay right now. We're going to go straight into it. Hey, let's go. Oh man, so like I said, the frame rate is somewhat of a problem, but it's really not that bad. Um, Chatty Phantom, me donated a dollar saying, Nigga, you're on a roll, live streams back to back, let's go. It's pronounced Chatty Phantom. Remember to read the objective of the missions and click that tech list to see the combos. I learned a little bit more of what the stuff you were talking about, um, you guys were talking about in the last one, so I feel like I'm a bit more in the know now. Sometimes, like I've mentioned before, it's very hard to process information when you're talking off the top of your head. And I don't use any script for my videos, just so you know. No fucking script. I do everything off the top. So, sometimes when you're like processing talking and information at the same time, things get a little jumbled up. Not to make myself look like an idiot on camera or anything, but um... Anyways, so, we are going to get into it. We're going to load the game. And um, as you can see here, my levels are a bit, um... Are a bit uh, construed here, <laughs> misconstrued. I got um, I got Ikaruga at 23, Hibari at 26, and Asuka at 17. Obviously, you can tell which of these girls are my favorite. Hibari's cool. She's got a really charming personality, and um, my nigga, that ass. <laughs> I mean, it's it's ridiculous. And when it comes to um, it, yeah, it, it's it's ridiculous. So I mean, hey man, whatever. And she she's the most fun character in my opinion as well too. Like you know, her range isn't as good as someone like Ikaruga, and that's probably why I would use Ikaruga over Hibari in some situations because. Um, Ikaruga got like a ton of range, but um, let's continue the story. Like I said, I didn't do anything after we um, ended the stream last time in terms of story. I just kept replaying missions that I was already doing, and um, that's it. I didn't, I didn't do anything new. I didn't play with any new characters. I didn't um, complete any more story objectives. It was all straight up just me constantly replaying those three missions that we already did on camera. Anyways, so obviously I'm not going to be playing with Hibari as much during this episode or any of the girls that I trained other than Asuka maybe because you know I already trained up these girls as much as possible I don't want to over level them per se and they're already mighty over leveled as it is considering this is the start of the game um let me see here I did also get some more accessories <laughs> and this is always the weirdest part to go into this is always the weirdest part to fucking go into when it comes to in this game you know like there's been times I've been playing this on the train and I'm like oh man let me see what the outfits they got and people just <laughs> oh man anyways i'm not we don't want to change that one i'm gonna to go to our extras i got this angel and halo thing and then i also got um fox ears and got the smart glasses man but um i didn't put the smart glasses on anybody but asuka because um i feel like it suits asuka style best um i didn't get anything new when it comes to this stuff 
And I didn't get anything new in terms of the swimsuits. Um, I changed her bikini to the black one because, I mean, it looks better in my opinion. But okay, so anyways, let's get into this, man. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change my character real quick, actually. And um, who should we use? Wait, actually, no. Then again, it'll be dependent on story. So um, we're just going to go into a story mission right now. So it's probably going to force me to use Asuka at some point. So um, chapter one, let's go. Let's go. Man, man, I, 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 as you can see, I've been playing this like a madman. Those missions, man, when you're in that gameplay and you get the combos down, yo, when you get the combos down and you know how to do one combo over the next and know the range of one combo, the special abilities of another, the shinobi transformations, yo, yo, you start to become a monster, yo. It's, it's just a... Pff, 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 like, um, Hibari has a flash kick, a flash kick from Gal in Street Fighter. She has one of those, and it does mad range. Considering Hibari's low range, like, like you know, she her range isn't that good, that flash kick reaches out to someone's fucking nose and just knocks him in the air. It's crazy, man. It's absolutely ridiculous. But, um, okay, let's go. We're going to play um, this mission, Get Back the Purse. There have been a lot of thieves in the shop's district lately. Take down the thief and recover the stolen goods. This is a new mission, so by all means, let's get into it, man. We're forced to play as Asuka for this one, so we're gonna, I'm going to be in a little bit of unfamiliar territory. I haven't played this game, actually, in about uh, two, three days, so you know, it's not totally familiar to me. Mario Bear donated $3, saying, first time donating. God damn, man. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Give him, give him my ass donations. I, uh, Man, I'm downloading my Cinnamon Cogger at the moment, but name my Robin Amiibo after you. That's very appreciated, man. Um, take a take a screenshot of it. Show me, show me that shit on Twitter, man. Um, thank you so much for the support. I bask in the morning warmth for the summer sun and head for the Hanzo National Academy. So this is kind of like a visual novel segment in a way. This game is so goddamn Japanese it hurts. Um, people tend to get sluggish as the weather warms, but this is the perfect temperature for me. Okay. It's like the sun gives me energy directly. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm in such a good spirit that I can't seem to keep myself from humming. Oh, Asuka. Well, like, Asuka. <laughs> Goddamn. Um, let's see here. Um, right, we're working with 748 viewers, man. The numbers are ridiculous right now. I can't believe that many people are watching this shit, considering it's somewhat of an obscure game. <sighs> I think we got a problem. <laughs> um, okay, so I look up and notice that I'm at the school gate. Not the main gate. It's actually a rear gate made specifically for Shinobi students. It wouldn't do to make friends with the regular students and have them start getting nosy about what class I'm in. So this school is open to multiple students of all of all backgrounds. You don't have to just be a Shinobi to get into this school. What the fuck? How they train in ninjas right next to the fucking remedial math class? Like, come on. Um, incidentally, the Shinobi student classroom is kept well out of sight of the general student body. Hey. Hey. Um, I go through the gate only to hear a voice calling me from behind. It's a boy in a baseball uniform, looking out, um, looking very out of breath as he stops. His hair is buzzed short and his face is very tan. He must be at least six feet tall. Oh shit, make it sound like me, other than the hair. Um, no doubt he's seriously into sports. What? Hey. He stammers for a moment and winds up not saying anything at all. I'm kind of in a hurry. Um, I don't want to stand by the rear gate forever. Um, damn, man, he's just confessing his feelings right there. Um, rest in peace, Mexican kid. Yeah, man. Um, if you guys don't know, yesterday, um, me and some of the some of you guys, like I think about 50 of us, we were inside the chat for this live stream and we raided a couple of people's Twitch streams. The shit was fucking hilarious. We were raiding them. Um, we didn't really disturb anyone too much, but we raided the shit out of people. Yo, it was it was hilarious, man. Um, next time we raid somebody, we got to do it with style, with finesse. We got to make sure we. You gotta scare the shit out of whoever we raid, man. That shit is hilarious. But um, good stuff last night to you guys that were there. I love you. So this dude's just opening his heart up to this chick out of nowhere. I'm caught off guard and I have no idea how to react. I love you and please go out with me. God damn, this game's Japanese. He drops his gauge with... I'm sorry, he drops his gaze with notable enthusiasm. I can see the neat little whirl of hair on the back of his head. Um, is that incorrect spelling? Um... At my failure to respond, he turns and runs off like a scared rabbit. The fuck was that all about? I check my watch and see that it's time for homeroom to start. I quickly dash off for the ninja room. Nigga, senpai ain't notice you, man. Nah, she, she ain't notice you. Um, the entire morning passes in a daze. I love you. Please go out with me. Um, Sama um, Kapam donated $6 saying, I love you, baby. What, you, you, confessing, your, you confessing your feelings to senpai? I mean, senpai noticed you, man. Senpai noticed you. You know, what can I say, man? You got it, man. Give me your... <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? 
Oh, man. Don't worry. The senpai, senpai gonna notice you. Um, I love you. Please go out with me. No one's ever said anything like that to me before. Something wrong, Asuka? You're not eating. Um, insert numbers here donated 150 saying, we all know why you like this game, Etika. Um, Lenny's out the ass. Um, anyway, what can I say? Um, if the game had bad gameplay, though, I would not be touching it. But, I mean, the gameplay is very fun. Considering the frame rate's bad, it makes me wonder how fun the games are that have, you know, better frame rates are, you know? Um, the second game's supposed to have really good frame rates, so we'll see what happens. Um, a dollar from Lord Cameron says, why don't you credit me, Senpai? Um... Yeah, I credit you. By all means, man. Yeah, you know, senpai credit you. Senpai credit you. Um, it's just, I'm just sitting here. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Um, I'm just sitting here with my lunchbox daydreaming. Did something happen? Nah, it's just a, a boy I don't know try to confess his love to me. Everyone in the ninja room reacts as one, and they seem more stunned than I am. Um, considering the status of these girls, I'm surprised they're not hit on more often. Um, details. I want the gory details. I'm surprised. A oh, boy. I am also interested. After they all express their interest, I decide to fill them in. From what you're saying, it seems this boy is a baseball player at another school, correct? Ikaruga speaks with calm assurance. He's, he's the, she's definitely the boss of the group. Um, I'm trying to be more like her in that regard. A baseball player, nice. Maybe a future major leaguer. Sounds like you got yourself a real cat, Jisuka. Um, Cat is almost vibrating with enthusiasm. Um, isn't she? Isn't she lesbian? I thought she was lesbian. <laughs> um, you think so? Oh, hell yeah. If you're not planning to be a TV announcer or some kind of performer, it can't hurt to snag a guy who is, you know? Um, no, all I want is to be a shinobi. I'm not planning to be a TV announcer or entertainer. What the hell is she coming from? Um, Sama C. Pan donated $10 saying, I love you so much. Please touch my panda booty. Um, I don't know if I can touch that per se, but, you know, I, 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 I'll touch the top of your head, man. I thank you. Thank you so much, though, man. $10, man. Taking top spot in the fucking stream already. Jesus Christ, man. You niggas are insane, man. <laughs> Thank you. Man, I really appreciate that shit. Um, damn. Um, still, in the face of Kat's unbridled enthusiasm, I can't help but give her a wry smile. Baseball is where they hit those really fast balls, right? Yes, yeah, Sibari. That's where they hit the balls. <laughs> that's where they hit the balls, Sibari. God damn it. Um, some pro baseball players are athletes on par with any ninja. Oh, wow. I bet they could use a sword to deflect shuriken then. As usual, Hibari's a little off the mark, but with her, it's always kind of cute. Um, Ikaruga quickly moves to calm the turmoil, asking quietly, So what do you plan to do? That's the question, isn't it? This game really is story centralized, isn't it? You're Shinobi, you must be. Um, one dollar from Terry Braun. How do I donate? I have no fucking idea, bro. Thank you, though. Um, let's see, I'm gonna try to skip through this without, um, reading the voice text. Um, we are Shinobi, you mustn't forget that, says Yagyu quickly. It's like she splashed my mind with water. The ninja room, bustling with activity, only moments before goes silent. Even Cat settles down. Well, I'm aware of that. I don't have the time to spare for love. All I want is to be a ninja. So, um, I'm guessing these girls, ever since they've been able to walk, have been trained to be the shinobi. So they're actually dealing with real life struggles right here. Um, for starters, I don't even really know what's going out, what's go what going out is, or how you're supposed to do it. Plus, I don't know what kind of person that boy is. He may not be the kind of person I want to be around, much less fall in love with. Yeah, it was a stupid idea. Reality hit her like a ton of bricks, and I'm glad it did, because honestly, uh, you don't know this dude. I mean, I mean I, although I, I guess she likes the idea of a, of a dude coming up and confessing to her. Who doesn't like that kind of attention? Especially, you know, especially in a setting like that. You know, hey, my mood now, much improved. I pop open the lid of my lunchbox, and inside is my favorite sushi roll. Let's go. Carelessly run along my mountain path. I do extra training every morning. My choice. I'm still inexperienced. I'm nowhere near as strong as Cat is. Um, Ikaruga is much faster than I am. Um, Yagyu's technical and mastery and Hibari's espionage skills are superior to mine as well. So espionage, Hibari, what the fuck? Espionage? She like a spy or something? Okay, so Hibari. Oh, oh, Nostradamus, six thousand sixty-six. Hibari will die within an hour of the stream, nigga. Yo, man, come on. The um, fast cockroach says she can hit my balls. All right, <laughs> nigga, girl, you need to chill. <laughs> um, so everyone seems like they got like a certain attribute. Cat is really strong. Ikaruga's really fast, which I've seen for myself. Um, Yagi's technical mastery. I don't know what that's supposed to mean per se, but um, and Hibari's espionage skills are superior. Since I'm not a fan of losing to anyone, I'm always training as much as I can. Um, base Benny donated a dollar saying, "Is this live?" Yes, my friend, it is live. Thank you. Um, I suddenly sense another presence. Who there? 
The boy from yesterday emerges from the woods. Again, he's wearing his baseball uniform. What are you doing here? Uh, I could ask you the same thing. Um, you're not a stalker, are you? He shakes his head in a sudden panic. I was at batting practice, and now I'm retrieving these balls. By yourself? Yeah, I'm doing independent ball training. Um, Terry Brond, $10. Just kidding, I live in the UK, and I've been waiting for you to stream at the same time. I'm awake. Keep it up, nigga. Damn, man. You ain't have to wait like that. You, you could have at least slept, my dude. Damn, dude. You could have at least slept. Niggas always think they gotta wait when they see the stream announced for like 10 hours or more. They're like, oh, I gotta wait for the stream now. Wait, like, no, you don't have to do that. Don't, no fucking, no fucking, no fucking stay awake on my regard, nigga. Go get some sleep, bro. Like, go fucking rest, man. You're gonna, you're gonna be fucking fucked up if you wait the whole stream. Thank you, though, man. I mean, I, I appreciate it, but goddamn, dude. You got, damn, man, you know, sleep deprivation is a thing. Um, I'm doing independent training. Just like me, I think, but I don't say. I'm practicing like no one ever has before. Baseball is really special to me. Like no one ever has before. I want to tell him I know how that feels. I still glance at his face, even though it's drenched in sweat, it's still invigorated. He's actually kind of cool. Oh shit. I feel myself begin to blush and quickly look away. Oh man, she's starting to catch some feelings. Hey, can you, you can call me Suzuki. Can I ask your name? Why would you try to confess your love to a girl whose name you don't even know? I have to admit, I'm being a bit mean. Um, Suzuki quickly wipes his palms. No, um, it was like love at first sight. I'm Asuka, it's nice to meet you. I smile at him and he lets out a huge sigh. Nice. Um, I know this is kind of awkward, but if you're willing to answer, I'd like to ask again. Ask me what? What do you think? This nigga's confessing, yo. This nigga's confessing. Would you be willing to go out with me? I'm left with nothing to say and fall utterly silent. All I can hear are the birds and the wind. I'm really bothering you, aren't I? I mean, I'm a total stranger, so it makes sense. Suzuki smiles bitterly and scratches his head. But still, I'm glad you know who I am. And hey, we got a game coming this weekend. If you feel up to it, would you come? This time, he looks me dead in the eyes, and I look back at him unsure as what to say. Um, would it be okay to go see the game? Ikaruga and Yagyu shouldn't be too upset about it, I hope. I start trembling a tiny bit. And um, Suzuki lowers his head slightly and begins running down the mountain. His back is broad and manly. Hey, hey, <laughs> let go, let go. <laughs> to be honest, I'm surprised how how much lack of innuendo is inside of the um, inside of the um, visual novel parts, considering the status of the game. Um, Brian donated a dollar, saying, "Hey, man, huge fan of yours. Here's a dollar for your troubles. Now get yourself some Mountain Dew or Doritos." All right now, <laughs> all right now, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man, don't, don't bring up Donnie in this stream, bro. Don't bring up Donnie in this stream. I'm gonna lose my shit, man. Um, thank you, though, man. I appreciate it. Right as morning classes end, the door to the ninja room flies open. Ah ha ha ha. The sushi chef burst in, laughing loudly. My very dear grandpa, Hanzo. Hello, Asuka. Showing them what you're made of, aren't you? Mr. Hanzo, it's been quite some time. I'm just curious about it. Um, Terry donated another dollar thing. It's no problem. I sleep at work. Just don't show my boss this stream. Hey, man. Yo, hey man, what happens in this stream stays in this stream, bro. You got it, alright, man? <laughs> this shit's like Vegas, my nigga. Oh, thank you, man. Don't worry about it. Um, my grandpa, known as this legendary shinobi. Before he returns. Hey, isn't there isn't there a ninja clan named after Hanzo? So this guy, he he he's like um uh, like the founder, I suppose, maybe? Kinda sorta? Probably. Um Rumor has it that Hanzo Academy is actually named after him. However, no civilian knows anything about him or his activities. That's a good thing. We protect each other from the shadows. Yes. We do this with no ex expectation or gratitude. I think that's just what justice is all about. I like to be a ninja of my grandpa's caliber. And that's what... Oh, I missed that one. Whoops. Brings you here, Gramps. I thought I'd make lunch for everyone. And at that, he, you, he unties a cloth wrapper. The smell of rice vinegar greets our senses. Sushi. Yeah. Hibari literally jumps for joy. And everyone quickly gathers around Gramps parents run a sushi restaurant and it's managed by both of them plus grandpa seems like a tough job but the regular customers must make up for it um here you go grandpa specialty sushi rolls here Asuka, please pass these out with you um five dollars from the seventh sword etika i love the channel 1v1 me and smash sometimes wanted to make you aware of the support small channels movement on twitter um a couple people mentioned that to me as well too and um i have my own opinions on that i'm probably going to make a video about it because the guy who made the small channels movement I don't know, I got, I got, I got a couple of issues with the, with some of the things he was saying, but I, I understand what you're saying, man. Thank you for the support. Um, my question mark, so quick, I could cut diamonds. Also, it's Sam plus Mac plus Pam. Sam Mac Pam? Oh, it's Sam Mac Pam, man. Th and once again, thank you, man. 
Thank you so much, man. This dude's been supporting my ass the whole fucking stream today and yesterday. Um, here you go. Um, I take the sushi bucket from him and go around handing the rules out to everyone. A dollar from Mr. Chris 8110 I love your videos and I found you through Mewtwo reactions. Two things. Can you play Yandere Simulator? I want to see your reaction to that. And two, Robin just became Little Max Psychiatrist. Ha! Um, I'll play Yandere Simulator. I, I was planning on doing it later on. I already watched the game through and through, so you know nothing's going to be new to me, but I'll play it if you guys want. Um, these look delicious. There's a lot of art in this game, isn't there? It's thick, but I bet I can take all of it. Oh my god, this game does the innuendo for me, yo. It does the innuendo for me, bro. It does the shit for me. Here it goes. Nom. Delicious. As everyone cheerfully stuffs a sushi roll into their mouth, Grandpa smiles and motions me over. Come on. The innuendo's done for me. What is it? I hear your thoughts have turned to love as of late. Did the others tell him? Nah, they wouldn't have just blurted this out. So how did he know about the boy? His question came as a total surprise. Grandpa is a legendary Shinobi, however. If he really wanted to find something out, he'd obviously be able to do so. That's what I'm saying, man. This nigga got skills. This old man got skills, man. You can't fucking count him out, man. You can't fucking count him out, man. Gramps knows. Gramps knows. Um, I'm not in love or anything. Suka, have you ever heard about how your parents met? Uh-oh. I shake my head. And he lowers his voice to a whisper and begins speaking of my parents. Dad was a law student at a famous university and fell in love with my ninja student mom at first sight. Grandpa objected to them dating, of course, but Dad refused to give up and got into an endless series of arguments with Grandpa in the process. So how come you gave in and let them see each other? Your father gave up his dream of becoming a lawyer and said he wanted to open a sushi restaurant with me. He said he didn't need dreams or money. If he could be only be with the woman that he loved, that's what he told me. Damn, man. That's really admirable, to be honest with you. That's really fucking admirable, man. He gave up his passion of being a lawyer just to be with the woman that he loves, man. You know, that's an amazing thing. Love will do wild things to you, dude. But you know, I mean, if you're happy with the one that you want to be with, then, hey, man, I got to give this dude props, man. He did his thing, man. He, he saw what he wanted. He went for it. And, you know, now he's happy, I guess. I never dreamed that was the reason that dad came to run a sushi restaurant. I suddenly feel tears welling up in me as my eyes begin growing hot. Yeah, I feel a little emotional from that, too, you know. He, he just gave up everything. If he was willing to go that far, I could hardly refuse his request now, could I? I had not an agreement. So what's this boyfriend of yours like? Boyfriend? Hey, you jumping the you jumping the gun, Gramps. You jumping the gun, Gramps. You gotta relax, man. Ain't like that. Hey, these niggas fuck already. <laughs> um, hey, he's not my boyfriend. Not even close. But if you wanna know what he's like? Well, he's kind of like me, I guess. Um, Terry said last one. I'm tired, and I will watch the YouTube video. Good night. Good night, my dude, Terry. Man, it was cool having you around, man. Support is appreciated, bro. Thank you. Um. He gets up really early to practice like crazy, and he's focused on his goals. He really is a lot like me. It's good to love someone. You should pursue this. Okay, so Grandpa's open-minded, of course. Um, Crom donated a dollar, saying, Hey, bitch, you're only allowed to stream my game. I don't know, Crom. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, Crom. Get your ass back in the Fire Emblem, man. That's why your ass ain't in Smash, man. You do shit like this, that's why Sakurai ain't put you in Smash, man. What you trying to do over here, Crom? Dollars appreciated, though, nigga, but get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, it's good to love someone. You should pursue this. Damn. I never thought I'd hear Grandpa actually encouraging me to pursue romance, considering you're a fucking shinobi. Remember what I always told you, power must be a pairing of sword and shield, and not slightly. I've always had a knack for fighting, and I beat up a lot of boys when I was growing up. Goddamn, Asuka. Goddamn. Even then, I wanted to be a shinobi, and it felt like it's what's right for me. So one day, Grandpa said to me, Your strength is a mere sword, and a sword is meaningless if not joined with a shield. I didn't have a clue what he meant. I got that a sword was powerful, but a shield. Even at my time at the Hanzo Academy so far, I still haven't figured it out. Love can be difficult for Shinobi, certainly. But the feeling of loving someone, I'm sure, will teach you the meaning of the sword and the shield. As he says this, he claps me on the back. Hard. I start coughing and he smiles in response. Okay, I get it now. He wants me to know how a Shinobi would think in this situation. Thank you, Gramps. At my small expression of gratitude, he nods deeply. In the end, I didn't go to Suzuki's um, Suzuki game. Why didn't you go? Asuka! Come on! Um, 250 from Johnny Sins. Etika, it's Johnny Sins, and I wanted to drop by and tell you how much I enjoy your videos. I enjoy them as much as people enjoy my videos. Shout out to Kevy. I mean, Kev, legitness. Love you, bro. Yo, that was. I came from the heart, I can tell, man. Thank you so much, man. I can tell that came from the heart, man. Big time. 
I also changed the route that I take when I'm training in the morning as to not run into him again. Oh, come on, Asuka! Grandpa's words have made things clear to me. I'm not ready for love. Not yet. I understand. Yeah, I understand. You know, I mean... I mean, it kind of like sucks that, you know, she's not embracing it or whatever. But, you know, hey, man. She's got an agenda. And she needs to stick to it. Um, there's still a lot I want to do before I learn of the strength born of the sword and the shield. One morning, I finished my morning training and I'm looking through the sports section of the paper. I see a small article about Suzuki's success. He pitched a shutout game with 18 strikeouts. He even hit two home runs at his five times at bat. He led his team to victory as pitcher and batter. He was his team's sword and shield, all rolled into one. Good luck, Suzuki. Good luck. I smiled softly and gently closed the paper. And that's the end of that. She's probably never going to run into him again. Damn, man. Asuka, she... She's dedicated, yo. She learned a valuable lesson there. It's another warm day. I love this weather. Sorry about that. Did not mean to run into you. No, it's okay. You're not hurt, are you? Nah, I'm fine. See you. Oh, she's in a hurry. Wow. My purse is gone. That girl took it. Really now? I wonder if she could be one of the local thugs I've been hearing about. Damn. I only had 500 yen in there, but still. It's the principle, man. You get your shit robbed, you're obviously going to go back for it. Um, let's see. Money is money. And even more important, it's my allowance. No way I'm going anywhere until I get it back. Let's go, Asuka. You get your, you get your fucking money back. What the fuck this bitch thinks she's doing? How to rob, nigga? Let's go. Let's go, Asuka. Let's dance. We ain't gonna go frantic, cause I, I like I like powering up the Yang meter. So let's go. Let's do the tech thing. Let's go. Hey. Oh shit! I fucked that one up. Ah. Let's go. Finally, we're back into some combat, yo. Finally. Hey, let's get a combo. Hey. 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 Hit him with the stars. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What's that? Hit him with the stars. Hey. Let's go. Alright, let's hit him with the shinobi transformation. Let's hit him with the shinobi. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Oh, whoop. Right, let's go. Let it go. Like I said, the frame rate doesn't... The frame rate doesn't mess things up that bad. The frame rate's manageable. God, this transformation is... <laughs> How, niggas in the chat said she got a katana. How she get her purse stolen? I know you're a ninja. How's a ninja get their purse stolen? That make no sense. Let's see what kind of combos we got available. Let's go. We got this one. Hey, damn, that one did a lot of damage. Shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey, I don't really know him, um, Asuka's combos too well, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get used to them. It looks like a lot of button mashing at some point, but I mean, more, once you get unlock more combos, then it, it becomes a little bit more than that. Although most of it is button mashing, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. What other combos are there? Um, there's this one. Throw the stars. Oh shit! Already? Already? Come on, dog. All right, we, we all right. We're kind of fucking around a little bit. The thing with these big girls is that if you attack them from the front, they're gonna fucking. You gotta give her two of them. Let's give her three. Get the fuck out of here. Meanwhile. Oh shit. Okay, let's go. Come on. Go. Let's go. Is she still alive? Oh, come on! There she goes. Now, now she's dead. She's gotta be dead now. Let's see if we can get a whole area of them. We got a lot of them in a the combo this time. Let's go. We got a lot of them. Let's go. Let's go. A dollar from Dig Big. You read my name wrong. No, son. That trick is old as hell, man. I, I read your name right on the first try. Surprisingly. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Oh shit, we're getting fucked up. Oh shit. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. We got a lot of them down there. Let's go. Hit him with the special. Hit him with the special. Hit him with the special. Let's go. We ain't done. Some combos 
um, actually are enhanced by their specials and others aren't. It depends on who it is, I suppose. We got a big one coming up. Let's go. Oh, shit, that one. Oh, look how many of them there are. Ah, oh, I fucked that one up. Throw the stars. Hey. Hey, give the big girl some attention, man. Make way for the big girl. Let's go. Ooh, come here. Ah, right, let's keep it going. The longer you do an air combo, the more reactive your um, response time needs to be. Hey, hey. You gotta get down there, right there. Oh shit, I tried to continue it while she was still. Hey, we got it. That one wasn't actually too bad. We should get like a B rank on that shit. Hey. Hey. Woo! I was right. I was spot on. B rank, baby. Right away. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We didn't take too much damage either, considering. Um, the reason why the Yang is up is because I've been using the Shinobi transformations over and over again. Because, you know, I mean, for obvious reasons, I suppose. But at the same time, um,. The Shinobi transformations give you access to longer combos, and I've been doing that over doing the frantic stuff. So, um, a lot of new picture. Add a new term. Okay. 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 Damn. The little thief got away. Um, niggas made a point in the chat, man. Like, how the hell does that happen? Um, Asuka for Smash? Um, yeah, I've seen that account running around, man. They helped me a lot, a lot with the game. Um, Etika, here's one more dollar. I gotta go, but I'll be sure to watch the rest of this later. And I have a question, though. Have you played Earthbound? If not, you should, and it's my favorite series. Have a good one. Um, Earthbound looks like an amazing series. I never got to play any of the games in it, but I'm hoping that that'll change soon, considering that they're, um, apparently doing an Earthbound 1, um, re-release or something? $4 from Resident Sleeper. Etika, my man. PPMD just said on stream that he's not quitting. Really now? This is not the end. It's only the beginning. Can we get some Craigasm up in this bitch? Yo, PPMD's not leaving the scene? That's good information. Damn, man. I thought it was over. I mean, he didn't make an appearance as CEO, but yo. Damn. Here you go, Jugs. Your purse. I got it back for you. $25 from Terry Braun. Holy shit. Please give a shout out to Tilly King. Just want to show I appreciate her and love her very much. Thank you, man. Yo, Tilly King, whoever the hell known into this clearly cares about your ass. Tilly, shout outs to you, my friend. And Terry, thank you so much, man. God damn, man. The amount of support is unreal. It's unreal. Um, Big Dick donated a dollar saying you let you read my name right. Yes, I did. Um, who's? Oh, this is this is the girl who's the mascot, right? Hamora. Here you go, Jugs. Your purse. I got it back for you. Oh wow, thank you so much. You know, she she's tan skinned too. That's a plus. That's a plus plus. Let's go. <laughs> oh man. Don't 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 I don't I don't mind a little toast in my breakfast if you know what I mean. Um is this enough to buy your mixtape, Iceman Etika? Piff. Nah man, my mixtape is way less than that. Um thank you so much. But don't call me Jugs. My name is Asuka. That name can be applied to every single girl in this goddamn universe. Like come on. So who the hell are you? I'm Homura. Okay, Amora. Well, please let me repay you for getting this back. Nah, I'm good. Yo, she, she's real. Uh, don't be shy. It's only 500 yen, but it's my 500 yen, and you're the reason I got it back. Nah. Oh, Amora is a badass, yo. She's a, she, she. <laughs> oh man, okay. Can't wait to learn more about Amora. Um, pretty impressive getting back my purse, nigga. I wonder if she knows martial arts. All right, I'll just have to try harder. So they don't know who the other girls are at all, huh? Um, Etika, play Mother 3. I will, I will. Um, um, jugs for Smash. Yo, really, man. Like, how do you call her Jugs when you're walking around with at least some double Ds on your own end? Like, come on, bro. Really? Really? Um, anyways, so now we're going to continue this. Um, let's see. Let's just go right into another mission since so much time was wasted on the visual novel. Well, not wasted, but, you know taken up on the visual novel section of the whole thing. Let's see what Katsurugi got to say. You know, I kind of prefer flirting with girls to actual romance with guys. That's why I figured. I thought she was, um... I thought she was lesbian at some point. Um... Or bisexual. There's nothing... There's really nothing like touching the smooth, supple skin of a girl, you know? Man, just thinking about it almost gets my nose bleeding. Holy shit. That's pretty damn explicit. That's pretty damn explicit, Kat. Let's see what Hibari's saying. 
Hey, Bari, talk to me. Um, one dollar from Lord Cameram. Cameraman. Cameraman. I'm not sure if you use your little secret skull in the air, you'll do a different one. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, like they all have different air specials. Very good information to know. I'm good at sports and I'm shinobi, so I'm not worried about marriage, you know? I think I've got plenty to offer a guy. It's not about what you have to offer a guy, Hibari. It's about the partnership that you can guys can make and what you can do together. That's what it's about. It ain't about you making yourself good for him. I mean, you work together, you achieve your goals. That's what that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what it's all about, I think. But it sure would be nice if a handsome prince were to come for me someday. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure they will, Hibari. She's got, every, every girl here seems like they got a lot to offer, if you know what I mean. Um, they all have their own trade, though. She's a spy, apparently? Um, espionage? That's some serious shit, Ibarra. You can get some time for that. Holy shit. Um, oh man, jugs with Etika, huh? I've never given so much thought. I've given, I've never given that much thought to falling in love. The only men that I've ever been around are my father and various butlers. It's not that I'm shy or opposed to romance, but, you know, Damn, son, understandable. Erica for Smash donated a dollar saying, Etika, dead, and Erica means alive. Ah, I get what you're saying, bro. Thank you. Thank you. And this Yagu girl. Um, love and infatuation really have no place in a shinobi's life. I have no interest in such things. Damn. Hardcore. Let's keep going. Chapter 1. So we have another thing here. This one we get to play as new character. Um, Katsurugi. So, let's do it. Some unsavory types have been giving Asuka trouble lately. We have no choice but to defeat those delinquents, so let's go in there. This is a mission for Katsurugi. Um, we never played as her. I never played as this girl before, so this is going to be new. Um, let's see, so, hmm, isn't that Asuka? Sorry, my bad. Uh, what the? She's totally being felt up right now. What? She's being felt up? Ugh, what the hell's going on here? Oh, shit, this is not... Hey, that's my thigh, you know. Now, I get that we gotta keep our strength as shinobi hidden from the normies, but come on, Asuka, learn when to fight back. Hey, you, keep your hands off of Asuka. Heck. I'm always up for, um, copying... <laughs> come on, Asuka! Um, come on. Uh, Katsurugi. I'm always up for copping a good feel, but I can't stand seeing sexual harassment. I think you need an ass-kicking, self-defense style. I'm always up for copping a good feel. This girl just came out and straight up said it, you know. But I'm, I'm glad she's defending her friend, of course. I mean, that's pretty serious stuff. So delinquents are feeling Asuka because she's trying not to show her shinobi strength. Um, Shiny Caterpie donated a dollar saying, how hard is your dick? Eh, not too hard after that scene, but I mean, hey, we'll see. Let's dance. We're in a school? So here we go. Katsurugi. I don't know what her combos are like, so, um... Let's see. What does she do? What does she do? She kicks a lot, it seems. Okay. Why are these niggas in school? Whoa, Katsurugi's got a lot of kicks. They seem like they got a little bit more range than usual. Hey, Katsurugi, let's go. Hey, she's pretty badass. Hey, she got a flash kick too. Oh shit, oh shit, we're getting fucked up. Okay, let's see what kind of combo she has. She has this one. Okay, let's see. So Y, 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 and Y, of course. And then we have X. Okay, so she has a combo with X. Some girls don't have a combo with X. Let's see. So that's a combo that knocks them on the floor. Oh, okay. It knocks them directly on the floor. I see. I see. Can we combo out of that? No, we can't. We can't combo out of that. Okay. We can't combo out of it. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Let's see where her shinobi transformation... Wow. What kind of shirt is that? What the... F wow, bro. And her combos stay the same? Oh, come on. Nothing new for her? Well, then again, we haven't really done um, doing any gameplay with her, so it's understandable. I love how we're playing in a school. This is awesome. Let's go. Okay. Well, she's different. Well, compared to, I mean, I don't know. I mean, 
I don't think she's bad or anything. She's a little more unusual. I'm sure I'll unlock more combos as time goes on. Let's keep breaking these things. Um, let's see. Oh, shit, we just opened up the floodgates. I like that flash kick combo that she has. Hey! And she doesn't move as fast as the other girls, but her kicks are really strong, apparently. Um, sleep, Resident Sleep with only a doll saying, Someone put these bitches in Smash so you can feel up the other Nintendo girls. Yo, that'd be hilarious to see her interactions with the other girls, but, um... You know, there's no story in Smash 4, so sadly, I don't think that's gonna happen. It would be interesting if there was something like a subspace emissary for Smash 4, but, uh... Yeah, sadly, that didn't go down. Sakurai's pissed at us. A dollar from, um, Kochu. Fuck her. <laughs> hey, man. I don't know if I would even accept it without fucking badass these chicks are. Like, that, that they, I don't know. That's a little, uh, intimidating in my opinion. The fact that she could snap your neck at an instant. God. Jesus. Hey. Hey. Let's go, cat. Let's go, cat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. Hey, let's go. She's still alive of that shit? I'm surprised. Let's do it again. Um, Chad, um, Chatty fans of me, um, said, um, maxing both Yin and Yang bar unlocks the flash mode, which has a completely new set of even longer combo chains. Also, all the girls are at least E cup and up, ex excluding Mirai. Also, um, Hikage is the best girl. I'm not sure who Hikage is, but I've probably seen her, um, her art around. So, um, thank you for the tips. It's good to know that all these girls are at E cup or above. <laughs> That's very valuable information. Hey, I don't know how I feel about that X combo. Um, the fact that you can't combo out of it, I mean, it's cool that it trips you up, but I don't know. It doesn't really seem too practical in my opinion. As you want to probably get a lot of hits on stuff. Oh, the flash kick is really good though. Hey. The frame rate's not even that bad in, this, in these situations where there's not that many enemies. Hey. Let's trip them all up. Hey, let's go. Hey, that flash kick, man. I can't get enough of that. Oh, I missed that one up. I missed that one up. Um, a song, a dollar from Song Fan. Uh, hey, Katsuri, you got them powerful legs. Love the stream as always, Etika. Thank you, man. Thank you. Support is big time appreciated. Big time. I'm a, I'm a leg man. I've told you guys this multiple times, so. That might help my decision in if Katsurugi is a usable character for me or not. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a leg man, I ain't even gonna lie. I think you have to like evenly train all these girls though, right? Hey, let's go. Let's go, get in there. Hey. Hey. She got the Michael Jackson moves right now. Let's keep this one going. The big girls need way more fucking hits than the other girls do. Ooh, already. Let's go. Let's go. That shirt, man. Holy crap. You know what? These girls at least give me some ideas for um, cosplay with my girlfriend. <laughs> if it ever comes down to it. Damn, we did bad there, though. Um, only a C rank. I guess we didn't really have the, um, the long combos to keep shit going to the point where we could kill them faster. Um... Probably obviously get a lot of levels, level 5, that's not bad. Um, new accessory added to the Hanzo, um, National Hanzo Academy. Use the National Academy dressing room to change, okay. Um, unlock the new music track. Um, so, since that was the first time we played as uh, Katsurugi, um, you call that a fight? Uh, Cat. What? That, that's a member of the Public Morals Committee. What? He, she was telling me how much I needed to lengthen my skirt. Wow, really? No way. I was about to say, sexual harassment in this game is a little bit, uh, wild, but, um, I, I was like, it's from Japan, so, I mean, I guess, but, I mean, no way. Talk about lousy timing. Sorry. Well, it was just a little accidental groping. Can't blame anybody for wanting a feel. Ha. Hey, that was totally a fake laugh. Katsurugi, man, you're pushing the boundaries of what's acceptable. <laughs> you're pushing the boundaries. <laughs> Save the record. Let's go. Um, a lot of people seem to like Kat, as I'm seeing in the chat. Everyone's going crazy about her, so um, 
Hey, I'm, I, hey, every, every girl in here has a dedicated fan base, I suppose. So now that we have Katsurugi um, as a character now, we played as her, so we know what's up. We can go to the dressing room. Let's see what outfit she has available. <laughs> I want something flexible. I, of course you do. Let's see what school outfits work for you. Um, the black one seems really cool. Like I like I like the dark school outfit. Oh, whoops. Only I may sexually harass. Go. Why is Katsurugi so open about the fact that she molests people? Like it's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. So. Uh, that's just the way this game is, I suppose. But, um, alright. So now let's see what's above with the swimsuit. <laughs> let's see what's available. Let's see what's available. Just because. I mean, fan service. Let's, 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 see, let's, see, let's see what's available. Start, um, the green one. Yellow one. Blue one. The red one. The red one's cool. I like the red one. What do you guys think? The red one? The red one. Um, let's see what's available for the Shinobi outfits. Um, this outfit is just ridiculous, yo. Like, I mean, it seems like it's just a regular school outfit, but it's just the regular school outfit, but she literally, all she did was just fucking open the, the entire goddamn shirt, and only a prayer is being used to keep the goddamn button up on those puppies. Like, goddamn, man. Like, look, like, I mean, like, like I don't, I don't mean to look, make this look a certain way, but look how, but look, look at, look at the shirt, man. This shit is literally just a, like, does she have stickers on underneath there to keep the shit on? Like, come on, man. What's up with these crazy-ass outfits? It's crazy. <sighs> God damn it. Um, let's see what other colors there are for this one. And she has those, like, boot things, too. Like, what the hell are these? Like, what the fuck are these? Those are new Air Jordans? I didn't know MJ was messing with shit like this. I'm guessing that's just something to enhance. Um, Terry Braun says... She said thank you so much. You are a legend and she has subscribed. Man, I'm glad she did. We're doing things a little bit on the weird side right now, but I mean, I'm glad that you guys are having fun and enjoying the stream. And I definitely am as well too. It's always a blast playing games like this with you guys. Um, someone said the red one is sexy in the chat. Um, yeah, the red one, I like that one a lot. You know, red is my favorite color. Around the red and blue, I like those. Um, let's see. Lenny Face is out the ass. Yes, my friend, Lenny Face is out the ass. Um, I don't know what the fuck these things are, yo, but, um, yeah, this, I guess that's just her, that's just, come on, when you bounce her boobs, she looks at you like, what the fuck, <laughs> like, it's just like, no, I don't think boobs move like that in real life, bro, or maybe they do, well, I don't know, I, I don't know, I haven't been with too many girls with, um, with, with a surplus of cleavage, I mean, cleavage, cleavage, that's what you guys keep telling me, it's not cleavage, it's cleavage. Um, the fast cockroach don't it said I'm too hard right now. Fast cockroach, you don't even have, like you don't even have sexual organs like that. How can you be hard? But either way, you found somehow a cockroach found a way to donate a dollar to me. So um, that's amazing in itself. I guess you can pull that kind of thing off. Um, let's see, the green one. That one's real. That one's real. That is a real outfit, yo. It um. I mean, it's a, that is a cool-ass outfit. That is definitely cool. We're going to keep that one. That one's definitely a, a good one. Um, the inside of the shirt is red, I think, right? Yeah, that is a badass outfit. We're going to keep that. Okay, that's a bit much. Considering what you do on a regular basis, I don't know if you should be saying that. The Shrine Girl outfit, I'm not really... I don't know. I like the Shrine Girl outfit, but I think their regular outfits when they turn Shinobi are um, good enough. So we're going to keep this one. Let's see what extras are available. Um, let's see. How's she looking in the smart glasses? Um, classic eye patch? Nah. Short wig? Nah. Short wig is... Eh. It doesn't work, because the short wig doesn't have, like, the ribbons or whatever. So, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna leave her just with what she got. She's good. Smart glasses don't really work for me on her. And, uh, I think that's it. So, we have her Shinobi outfit, which is the red and black. Very cool combination. Very MKBHD-like. Um, then we have her swimsuit. It's the red one. Like I said, I like red. You guys like red? We all like red. Um, green one, yellow one, and the blue one. They're okay, but the red one just pops out more. Um, school outfit. The black uniform is so cool. I hope there's more color variations in the future of this game. Do you guys know? But um, the black one is pretty cool, actually. Um, and now, let me see. Because, you know, Hibari already has the pink one. So, I mean, yeah, the black one. I think this works. All right, guys. So, we're pretty much good. Let us dip out. We got our outfit set. And... Uh, Let's do another mission real quick. Yeah, let's do another mission. 
This music is so cool. So now we have more new missions. Oh, but we haven't done all these with, um... We haven't done all these with, uh, Asuka yet. So, I mean, excuse me, with, um, Cat yet. So... Then now we have this one with, um... With, uh, what's her name? Uh, Yagyu? So we're gonna try her out. Um, let's see, so... Wager a plush doll on a fight with Hibari. Your friends, so don't be too rough on each other. So the goal is to defeat Hibari. Let's see what this is all about, man. This is a mission for Yagyu. Proceed? Yes. Proceed. We don't know what Yagyu plays like, so this will be our first time messing with her as well, too. But let's see what it's all about. She seems really stoic, in my opinion, which, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's cool to see the variation in characters. Like, you know, not everybody's just kawaii desuka. Um, I know that pronunciation is wrong, but um, not everyone's kawaii desuka. There's obviously some characters in here who have a much more serious approach to things. And it's cool to see that kind of variation in a setting like this. Very cool. Um, Ikaruga and Yagyu look like they mean business. Um, Yagyu even more so. So, let's see here. If someone said press 1 if Dong has expanded in the chat, like, nigga, now let her strip. Come on, bro. Um, not here for the gameplay, lol. Come on, man. Y'all are hilarious. Um, okay, let's keep going. Oh, Yagyu, did you want this plushie? I've wanted it for, like, ever. I'm aware. Well, then, let me have it, please. It took me so long to find it. How about I... Oh, I see how it is. It's so cute that you want it too, right? Nah, that's not. Oh, he's pretty serious. You don't have to be so cold. How about we duel for it? Winner takes all. A duel? Yeah, I thought I could beat you, but if I win, you agreed to let me have it. Alright, I accept your challenge. So, Yagyu did like the plushie. Um, Alright, so, uh, you know, she just doesn't express herself as much. You know, there's a lot of people in the world that like that, too. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's just how she chooses to be. I don't think people should feel like they have to always open their feelings out to everyone. I mean, sometimes if you want to keep things to yourself, keep them to yourself. It's not, it's not a problem. Only in situations, I guess, where, you know, things are really important. So, wait, this is an actual fight? Defeat Hibari. This is a duel? Oh, shit. This is serious. Oh my god, what the hell? Hey, Bari, why you got these niggas working with you? What's going on here? I don't even know the combos, Hey, Bari. Give me a second. So she has a double X combo, and there's a YYYX and a YYYY. So YYYX? No, that was... Wait, YYY... Oh, she's got a gun? What the hell? Oh, no. Oh, oh! Oh, I see. Interesting. So, Yagyu is a ranged character. Wow, that was it. Come on, Hibari. This is too goddamn easy for me. Okay, Yagyu. All business, baby. Let's go. That was pretty damn easy. I'm A rank right there. A hey, level two, let's go. Unlock the new music track. I lost. Here, it's yours. What? You letting me have it? Oh shit. Um, you said you wanted it, didn't you? I was planning to give it to you as a gift from the start. What? Then why'd you agree to the duel? You're perfectly competent. You just need to stop putting yourself down so much. It's good to be assertive like this once in a while. So, you went along with it for my sake? Yeah. Thank you, you're really sweet, you know that? Aww. Uh, no, it's really nothing. Oh, Yagyu, we see the little blush, Yagyu, she cool, she cool as fuck. <laughs> I see, I see that, I see that little blushing, Yagyu, you good? Aww, she's so cool. Very good shit. That was a very easy mission, but, um, hey. So there's apparently duels that are available. Maybe they'll get harder as time goes on. I can see those being kind of interesting. But, okay, so we played as Yagyu, so, of course, we gotta customize her now. I never touched any of the customization features for any of these girls before, so, I mean, well, the ones I didn't play as before, so now's a good time to check them out. Let's see. Um, her uniform color should be the same as everyone else's, so let's see what she's got here. Um, uh, I don't know, man. I don't want to want to 
we'll leave her in the regular one for now. And um, let's see the... Uh, should I see the swim... I, I didn't see the swimsuit options or the shinobi transformation yet. So maybe I should wait before I do those. Because I haven't seen those yet. So for now, we're going to just continue this. Um, her combos, I didn't get used to them either. Because that mission was so fucking fast. But, but Yagi seems like she got some cool shit going on. She got a gun in the umbrella. She's bucking off shots at people with that shit, man. Very interesting stuff, man. Um, let's see. And then we have this one called Hibari's Tutoring. So, um, you're to defeat all dummies within the time limit, and the slowest student gets deletion. Detention. Oh, okay. Okay. So, um, you know what? We're going to do this one. Let's do this one. We're playing with Hibari, and this is my girl right now. So, this is going to be a real easy mission. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm sorry, but the only guy who probably appears in the game. Um, it's rather difficult to take the class when one's left kunai at home, Hibari. Aww. I could have sworn I packed them. I have no choice but to assign you supplemental lessons after school. But I was gonna go have some banana crepes with everyone today. Crepes are delicious. Um, it's really too bad for you. Aww. Please wait, Master. We're all going. We're also going to take those extra lessons. Oh, okay. We're all agreed on this. But why? All for one and one for all. It's what friends do. Very well. The lessons will be conducted out in the yard. Whoever among your scores is the lowest will be remanded for extra additional lessons. Goddamn. Yes, sir. Um, Zia Madness Tony Adal saying, Etika, I know this is kind of off topic, but have you decided your fried emblem if waifu yet? I haven't because I haven't spoiled myself to see them all yet. I'm going to wait before I do any of that. Um, all right. Let's do this, Ibari. Ibari. Hold on, actually. I need to, um, I want to get some Twizzlers real quick, actually, because I'm, uh, I'm a little hungry at the moment. Let me just, give me a second. Give me a second. Pick this thing up. Gosh, I almost messed that up. Not but okay. Okay, actually, let me get some twizzles real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, we ready. We ready. We got my twizzlers. We ready. The chat. Yeah, some getting twizzlers. Hey, Barry's song is so cute. Let's do it. Hey. Shinobi, let's go. When she turns Shinobi now, she gets so many combos, it's insane. Let's keep the momentum going, let's go. Look at the combos this girl gets. You see the tech list? Look at that shit. Hungry for the pussy, boss. <laughs> hey, that uppercut. Kabari's my character. We gotta beat this shit fast though, so let's go. Let's go. We gotta kill these niggas fast. I'm trying to not do so many air combos. They're all spread out so much. Fuck. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I missed donations. Um, Mr. Robin? Thank you, I'm sorry, man. I missed that shit. I was so concentrated on the goddamn game, I fucking missed it. My bad, man. My bad. It was a dollar and it was, uh, okay. Wait, hold on, we got something here. Um, let me see. Alright, we're gonna have to... 
Yeah, yeah. Doka, 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 doka. Let's go. Hey. Wow, how'd I get damage? I, I didn't think I was even getting hit. That hits a good amount of enemies. Flash good. Hey. Oh, we got a big one. Let's go. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Keep it going, Nabari. Keep it going, Nabari. Fuck. Damn, I messed that one up. Oh, whoops. Look at her health bar, yo. Fuck. Mm, 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 mm. Get the rabbit up. Hey. Oh man, I keep messing the combo up. Hey. Hey, let's keep it going. Oh fuck, messed that one up. Yeah, uh, they, they, the timing gets really strict at some point. Hey, let's go. This one is so hilarious, the special. Just lazy one. But you can't combo out of this shit though, so you only do this if you don't care about the combo at that point, I guess. Let's go. Hey, how much time do we have left? I have no idea. Oh, okay, we're done. Okay, good. I don't really need the tech list open to do the combos. I just wanted it there so you guys can see how much fucking work I did on this girl. Um, there we go. Let's go. Please tell me that's an A. Mm, come here. Let's go. Is that A? Is A rank the highest rank? Right? I think so. Let's go. Let's go. Level up. Oh, I'm awesome, Palmy. You leaving? Later, man. Take care. I right, won. No, oh, shoot. I'm on the bottom. I guess there's more lessons for me. No way, Asuka. Did you lose on purpose? Uh, no. Well, you're such a meanie. I'm sorry. I really, truly am. It's hard being a shield for your friends. No, nah, that's okay. I know you were doing it for me. I appreciate it. So maybe it'll be the two of us in those extra lessons, huh? Yeah, looks like it. Oh man, you know, everyone looks out for Hibari. That's cool, you know? I think she's like the newest student in the Ninja Academy, so you know, people gotta watch out for her, man. Okay, let's go. Um, we're gonna do another one. How do we progress with everything? Oh, the one with the heads on him are story missions, I think. Hebijo Assassin. This one has two difficulty stars, so... I'm sorry, I shouldn't be eating on screen, I guess. But, um... This one has um, two difficulty stars. So, defeat the Hebijo students who came to attack our school. If you use your aerial raves and ninja arts, you'll do fine. Let's do it. And it's an Asuka mission, so something tells you things are getting real. Come on, bring me someone tougher. You're all a bunch of pussies. Oh, shit. Who's staying in this? I'm bored. No one's giving me a fun challenge. I open my eyes to see the dorm ceiling. The clock on my bed says it's 4 a.m. I had the same dream as usual. The past few years, I've had the same adrenaline rush dream almost every night before waking up. It's totally unrewarding, though. The rush I get from it isn't enough. You'd think I'd at least be able to find satisfaction in my dreams, but nope. 
My name's Katsurugi. Katsuragi. Not my real name, obviously. It's like a code name for identification. I still like the name my parents gave me. If that's what everyone calls me, I'm not the type who cares much about that kind of stuff. Ha! Ah. I change my clothes, jump out the dorm window, and dash off into the mountains. A shinobi's morning starts early. I'm still only a student, but the basic rooting isn't that different from a full-fledged one. What separates us is the danger. The only opponents I fight are dummies, every single day. Even if I get to fight outside of class, it's just thieves or gang members. It gets really boring, and I want to fight someone stronger. But I can't miss out on training. Still, if someone really tough did show up, you bet your ass I'd fight them. First off, I do some stretching to limber up. And a quick run across the field, I feel good as I listen to the footfalls of the mountains, um, road, and chirping of the birds. And after six miles, I do some more stretching and 100 push ups and sit ups each. God damn. God damn. Wait a minute. Um, let's see. By the time I break a sweat, the sun finally decides to put in an appearance. Is there something going on in the chat, man? Is it somebody, some, it says somebody big was there? Um, let's see. The orange sunshine peaks in between the trees, coloring the whole mountain in a warm glow. I love this time of day. Okay. So a Katsurugi training session. Um, once I finish, I start to head back to the dorms. Someone said blow in the mic in the dressing room. Blow in the mic. All right, I'll do that next time. I'll do that next time. Once I finish, I start to head back to the dorms where I feel a small presence behind me. Whoops. It's faint. Could just be my imagination, but I turn any around anyway. And sure enough, there's nothing there. Damn, son. Where'd you find a dollar this? from Bits HK. Nice to see you're enjoying the game, and you'll probably be entertained by the story of the game and its characters. I should also mention that the blonde girl is Katsuragi, not Katsurugi. Oh, okay. Let's call her Katsu or Kat to ease it a bit. Okay. Katsu, Kat, I got it. Choko. I say it without even thinking. Choko is my dog's name. He's a pedigree Pomeranian, small enough to hold in one hand. Um, he's around like a little ball, and I used to love to roll the little guy around. But one day, he was gone. I had him since I was little. Ever since then, whenever I get that odd feeling, I find myself thinking that maybe it's him. There's no way it's Choko. It's silly to think that he just show up. But I can't bring myself to give up hope. I'm still always looking for him. Despite how long it's been, the moment's hitting me hard and I feel my eyes welling up with tears. Actually, Choco wasn't the only one who vanished. This story goes deep! Damn, man. These girls are a lot more than what they appear to be on the surface. Um, actually, Choco wasn't the only one who vanished. My parents disappeared right along with him. Holy shit. What happened to this girl's family, yo? My parents disappeared. I've always wondered why my family would just disappear like that. But deep down, I think I knew. That's why I want him to be strong. That's why I want to be strong. In the Shinobi's world, you either get strong or you wind up losing everything. Her parents were killed, yo. Her parents were fucking killed. Holy shit. Her parents were killed, yo. It's obvious, man. She said, um, I always wondered why my family would just disappear like that. But deep down, I think I knew. Damn, Kat. Damn, Katsu. Katsu. Damn. That's crazy, yo. Parents were killed. They even killed the fucking dog. That's crazy. It's pretty sad, actually. Um, I never actually talked to anyone in school about my family. Getting all mopey about that just isn't my style, you know? I changed the mood through the sheer force of will. I walk into the ninja room and go straight to the sushi counter, and I fire up the casserole dish. First, some water in the pan for my special miso. Once it boils, I throw in some noodles and add a, wild, a dash of wild grass that I found while I was running. The smell of miso gradually fills the ninja room, and three minutes later, some unashamed drooling, la unashamed drooling later, the um, ultimate ninja cooking is done. Rub-a-dub-a-dub, thanks for the grub. As I eat my wild grass and ramen special, I feel a, a, a weird slight sudden. Oh, oh, a weird sight suddenly fills my vision. Something around is moving on the other side of the sliding door. I fling the thing open without thinking. Huh? I can't believe my eyes. A soft, fluffy ball is floating in the air. What is this? The color and form rule it out being one of Master Kiri's ninja tricks. Not to mention, he never uses his abilities outside of class. It's an enemy trap. I leaks my feet. I let out a kick that cuts the ball in two. It disappears in a puff of smoke with nothing left behind. 
I quickly scanned all around me for threats. I thought she thought it was her dog, but apparently she didn't. I quickly scanned around. There's no sign of the enemy, but my adrenaline is still at max. I bet that thing was for the enemy to spy on us. If it was just floating around at random, then there's no telling what kind of data it could have gotten. If so, then it was probably sending data back. Which would mean that we're about to have some seriously unpleasant company. Holy shit! Katsu, what the fuck was that thing? What the fuck was that? Cat, is something wrong? Um, Asuka had walked into the room at some point. She looks worried. Nah, it's nothing. Tell her what's going on! She's pointing at my now cold ramen. You're late for class and there's still ramen in your bowl. I know something's up. Asuka's a persistent one. Alright, once we're all together, I'll spill. Once everyone's gathered, I tell them about the ball. Maybe we ought to ask Master um, Kiria about it. Um, Hibari says in response. Agreed, mutters Yagyu, quietly. But isn't he out in business today? Asking Kajaluga. Um, Ikaruga, which everyone nods. Um, what do we do? What if the enemy attacks? What are we supposed to do on our own? Um, you guys, uh, what are you supposed to do on your own? Come on. Um, we don't know for certain that they will, says Yagyu, gently com com comforting Hibari. I couldn't disagree more with the others. I want to fight. I want to fight someone tough. That's why I've done all this training. I want to see just how strong I really am. I can't tell them that, though. Not when I see how anxious they all are. They'll come. I know the enemy's coming. Damn, so Katsu, um, Katsuragi is the strongest member in the group. From how she trains, and just like the way she behaves, Katsuragi, her strength levels are beyond everybody else. Even, um, even Ikaruga. Ikaraga? Ikaruga? Um, I'm completely convinced. And if they're out to get us, it makes perfect sense that they do it while the master is away. Holy shit! So they're getting invaded. They're gonna get invaded. Someone's here. Oh shit. There's a strange looking girl in the courtyard and her thirst for blood is pal um, palpable, palpable, soaking through the air like humidity. They're here. They're finally fucking here. We move to the courtyard in a group. Here we fucking go, dude. State your name. You guys are the Shinobi students, right? The black haired girl takes a single step forward. I'm Homura, the shinobi student of the clandestine Hibijo Academy. The clandestine Hibijo Academy. All shinobi students have heard its name. It's a notorious school where evil shinobi are trained and raised. They're evil, huh? But as notorious as it is, everything about it is shrouded in mystery. Its size, its activities, hell. Even its existence is often called into question. There are Hanzo students. So Hibijo and Hanzo. We, we, we learned about these before. Um, Someone said, I don't trust those tits <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> I don't trust them either, bro. I don't trust them either. Um, what are you talking about? We're not. At, Ikaruga, um, at Ika, Ikaruga's attempted misdirection, the girl pulls out a photo and invokes a camouflage barrier. It's no use playing dumb with me. The picture is of me right before I kicked that ball. So that ball was for surveillance after all. So then, Omura says, grinning. I've made a camouflage barrier, yet you're still here. Therefore, you're obviously all shinobi. A camouflage barrier, what is this? So, what if we are? I asked, shading, shaking with excitement. Oh, God! Katsuragi, she, she's a wild chick. She's like, so what if we... She's, she's ready to fuck someone up. She's ready to fuck someone up. Then, you can hand over the super secret ninja art school. We've got no reason to do so, says Ikara, um, Ikaruga decisively. And if we don't give it to you, my grin's as cocky as hers. I'm just itching to fight now. I take it by force, obviously. Homura laughs and draws a sword. You've got my interest. I start to get ready to fight, but Asuka stops me. Holy cat, she's mine. Oh shit, Asuka! Taking, taking charge of this shit, huh? Homura and Asuka are acquainted? Battles between the shinobi are meant to be one on one. That's what we've always been taught. So if I let Asuka handle this, I will not get to fight. If you really want to fight, I'll do it. Our girl with an expressionless face appears next to Homura. Her eyes are as blank. Her eyes are blank as she draws closer to me. Who the fuck are you? Ikage. 
Hikage draws a knife and slashes at me, her expression never changing. I dodge out the way at the last moment. So, are you strong? Strong? You have to be. How come? If I'm not, I'm not following orders. She is strong. I can fucking sense it. I get to fight someone tough. And I've never been this happy in my life. Holy shit. I have to fight stronger opponents to get stronger myself. Stand back, everybody. We're gonna take care of this. Um, Ikaruga nods slightly at me. Uh, Hibari and Yagi take a step back. Asuka and Homura. Me and Hikage. Um, we finally get our first taste of real combat. Let's fucking go, man. Let's fuck them up. They want to catch work? We'll give them work, man. You use them legs. You use them legs, Katsuragi. Use them legs. Um, Jugs. So you were a shinobi after all. Yeah, I gotta admit. I didn't expect to meet you like this. Oh, shit. This is getting real. This is getting real. This is getting really real. Um, can I ask you something? What do you need the super secret ninja art school for? Seriously, it should be obvious to become the most powerful shinobi. The most powerful? By stealing the scrolls of both schools, I'll become so powerful that no one will be able to beat me. That's ridiculous. You don't need the scrolls to be strong. You can get there through training. Become strong at all costs. That's the way of the Hebeja. But that goes against the true path of the shinobi. If it really bothers you that much, then bring it. I'll show you just how pathetic your true path of shinobi really is. It's not pathetic, though. For justice sake, for justice sake, I will not abide you. Let's go. These bitches come to get their ass whooped. They gonna, they gonna catch that whooping, man. My girl's got this shit. My girl's got this shit. I didn't realize it would come through like that. Let's go. Um. Nation from the fast cockroach. Heading off. Good luck on the rest of the stream. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Let's fuck her up. Let's fuck her up. We can give her work. It's not a problem. Oh, we're fucking her up real good. Why she got these niggas with her? Hey. I ain't gonna let you get a hit. Let's go. Transform. Shinobi? <laughs> I can't you. No, oh, you fucking me up. Oh fuck. Let's collect that item. You can take out her goons. Oh shit, she's doing a lot of damage to us. Oh shit, she's fucking us up. Damn, we got fucking blown up. Hey. Hey, let's go again. Hey. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> we fucked her up. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Hey. Hey. Oh, this is a serious fight. This is a serious fight. Hey, let's go, Amora. Oh, we, oh, we, we, yeah, we tore him up. We tore him up. I mean, obviously, the combos are insane. Once you get caught up in those shits. Once you get caught up in those shits, man, that's it. Game over. A rank two? Let's go. Level 19 now. New uniform added to the National Hanzo Academy. New uniform, that's very good to know. New swimsuit. And new shinobi outfit. <laughs> Yay! We got a lot of some new shit. Some meaningful new shit, too. Did I win? Finished already? I love how even after the fight is over, you see their clothes still damaged. 
Nice touch. Amir, are you okay? I wanted to see how powerful you were, so I let you hit me. Bullshit. And it was nothing. Nothing like a feather caressing my cheek. You really thought that would hurt me? Come on, you're bullshitting. Damn. No worries. I'm not here to kill you. You might want to get your last rights before we see each other again, though. Bullshit. Bullshit, we fucked you up. She said it was nothing. You didn't do nothing to me. Bullshit. Why is this girl lying? Oh, lying ass fraud. What the hell's wrong with her? So everyone's just chilling now? Um, oh, and the dude is really gone. So their leader is actually out right now. I can't stand people <clears throat> who are all like, Oh, I was taking it easy on you when they lose. Um, when I'm beaten, I got no problem admitting it. So freaking stupid. Yeah, she was definitely on some other shit. I can't believe that Hibijo attacked us. Our attempts at deception have failed, and they knew us as shinobis right from the start. There's no telling what might happen now. Yeah, that's kind of crazy how they just fucking invaded them like that. Um, what should we do? I don't want to fight girls from another school. Um, can't we all just get along? That's what I think is going to happen at the end of the day. Um, we are shinobi, ninja. No more, no less. We exist solely to be hired for our skills. If we come into conflict for um, because of our employers, we can do nothing but look for a solution. So, um, anyways, we got some new outfits. So let's see what's going on here with Asuka. Um, so we have an old Hanzo uniform now. This one is really, uh, it's, it's not too different. Um, they have ties normally, but this old Hanzo uniform is uh, okay. Okay, but I like I like the regular one though. I like the regular one. I think this one's cool. And then we got a new swimsuit option. So we have an old school swimsuit. God. Wait a minute. This is the shit that they... Oh, come on. This is the shit that they're going to be wearing in Japan. Ah, Lord. I mean, we can just go with the stylish one. And then we have a new Shinobi outfit as well, too. So let's see what this is. We have a Burst Girls outfit. What the hell, dude? What is that? It looks really weird, but, um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that one. We'll just leave it regular. Is it that one for everybody? Then we got new extras, I think? Nah. Okay. Let's see, because I don't know if that's the case for everybody. Um, we're going to change our character real quick and see if, um, there's different kinds of Burst Girl outfits, or is it just going to be the same for everyone? And everyone probably has the old um, swimsuit thing there, too. So, uh, yeah, probably. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the new outfits and stuff, but we can check it out. Let's see what uh, Hibari got. Oh, blow into the mic. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to remember to do that now. I'm going to remember to do that now. Let's see. Since you guys have been demanding that, there must be something that happens. So, same thing for Hibari. We got the old Hanzo uniform. I don't know how I feel about the, the thick-ass fucking um, socks in the back. I don't know how I feel about those. I'm not too crazy about them. But, um... Okay, oh, I didn't blow in. Let me... So I'm guessing it's the same for everybody. You know, they have the burst girls outfit. Seems a little odd to me. It's a little bit different, depending on the character. It's a little bit different. But, um, I, I, like, I like their regular standard shinobi outfits. And, um... I'm gonna leave it. Let's give her a blue one this time. And, um, let's see. S old swimsuits. So this is going to be the same for all the girls, I guess. God almighty. And we're... Okay, blow into it. Okay. I don't know what, what it's doing. I'm blowing into it. B blow... I don't... I'm not seeing what it's doing. We have to, maybe we have to back up all the way. I don't see anything happening here. I'm, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Um, maybe I'm missing out on something. Or maybe this DS just doesn't work. Maybe the microphone doesn't work. What's what's supposed to happen with this? Um. Maybe it affects the cleavage? Uh, cleavage? Man, I got my mouth on this shit. Yeah, I don't know, guys. It's not working. Whatever you're telling me to do isn't, uh, 
isn't happening here. Yeah, it isn't happening, whatever it is. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. The other one? No, it won't work. Yeah, everyone seems like they're... Um, you have to unlock it. He needs to finish the game? What the fuck? Alright, clearly there's some other shit going on. So we have chapter 2 now. But do we do all these missions? You heard reports of miners drinking in the shop district. Show them the error of their ways. Oh, shit. So we got chapter 2 now. Alright, so, um... Let's go into this one, man. Let's go into this one. Uh, Katsu Ragi Training. This is special training with straw target post. It's a classic myth. Destroy 30 of them by any means within the time limit. Let's do that. Okay, let's go. The ninja room's atmosphere is thick and heavy, and students' faces are dark with despair. All this surprising. There's a world of difference between classwork and actual combat. Asuka and Katsuragi um, lost their battles, and the other three are in shock. The principal told me what happened, you, uh... But I find no words to which to continue. Should I praise them? Tell them they did well? They survived their first real fight, and that alone is noteworthy. Master Kiria, Asuka is staring at my face. The gaze is like that of a dog looking at its owner. I'm suddenly reminded of a former student. Rin. That's right. Never again will I repeat that mistake. I finally find the words to continue speaking. You were defeated by Hibijo students. They were defeated? No, they weren't defeated. They weren't defeated. They, they did well. I mean, they don't, they left. They beat their ass. That's why they left, I guess. Um, let's see. You might as well give up on being Shinobi and get out. Rin. My first student in my teaching career. She always sought to be a, become a super ninja in order to help bring peace to the world. And her enthusiasm as a student was a huge help to me as a teacher. Perfect timing. Please train me. She was always like this. The moment she caught sight of me, she asked me to help her train. At times, I applauded her unbridled enthusiasm, though it constantly, okay, oh, though it occasionally troubled me. Master, is it too much trouble? Of course not. I'm your teacher, aren't I? Irina and I went to a small hill, and many wooden dummies were set up for trains. Rin demolished the dummies in sequence. After breaking six dummies in a row, she was breathing hard. From her face, it was obvious that she was ready for more. It was as if growing stronger was a foregone conclusion. Why is it that you wished to become a shinobi, Rin? After all, a shinobi is like a pawn in chess, disposable. All who seek to become shinobi must come to terms with this. Damn, man, that's kind of crazy. This is why her cheerful enthusiasm concerns me. I don't want to become a shinobi master. I want to become a super ninja. Oh shit. Super ninja. Right, to help the whole world. Love and peace. It was so silly that I was momentarily at a loss for words. Why did you become a shinobi master? Um, Rin's eyes na held naked curiosity. Her simple and adulterated gaze caught me off guard and I found myself answering her question despite never having spoken of this to anyone else. Much like most of my students, my parents happened to be shinobi. I was trained as a shinobi from a young age. Never once was I in doubt about it. Um, ever since my parents were shinobi, oh no, since my parents were shinobi, I would be one as well. It was simply a matter of course. I had talent as a shinobi, so my parents were not disappointed. I leapt to the, I leaped to the top of the ranks with no difficulty, but to say that I was happy would be a lie. No matter my skill, I was still disposable in the end. Yeah, that kind of sucks, man. The fact that you can just be tossed to the side, if, you, if you're done, there's no memory of you or whatever, you just, you know, you didn't exist, basically. That's, that's the life of living in the shadows, I suppose, right? Um, what purpose did being the best even serve? You said you were at the top, the elite among the elite. So if that's the case, why did you decide to become a teacher? Simple enough reason. Missions are potentially deadly, and teaching is not. Uh, missions are potentially deadly. In that moment, her face hardened. That's right. I have to be prepared. I'll lay down my life for love and peace. And sure enough, her face quickly became cheerful and optimistic. Uh, I wonder just how much Rin understood about being a shinobi. It made me somewhat uneasy, but when I looked her in the eyes, oh, excuse me, when I looked in her eyes, I found that she didn't have the heart. I didn't have the heart to tell her so. It might have been a good thing, I thought. She might make for an interesting shinobi. 
When Rin was around, I felt like the cobwebs cleared from my mind, so he was really feeling it. He was really feeling it. I'll say it again. You were defeated by Hevijo's students. If that bothers you so much, you might as well give up on becoming Shinobi and get out. I immediately sensed the change in the atmosphere within the ninja. Master Kiryu, I believe that's a little bit too harsh, says Ikaruga, in a surprisingly rough fashion. That's right, Kiryu, we can't say that. Um, Katsuragi follows her, putting her face, oh, her face puffing with irritation. Say what you want about me, but Asuka's still only a second year student. She took on some serious competition. She survived, and that's no small task. How about a word of praise for that? Asuka looks downward, the rim of her eyes red. That half-hearted praise will only result in more sorrow down the end. I can feel it in my bones. What happened to Rin, yo? Nibijo is known for producing shinobi involved in politics and business, the so-called evil shinobi. They have no qualms about nasty work, and everyone remains breathless at my words. He can't be bargained with or, or reasoned with, and they, have absolutely, they will absolutely not stop until they achieve their goal, much like their namesake, the serpent. Meaning, there's no way to avoid a fight? The evil shinobi don't negotiate, they will always attack. So, what if we go on the offensive ourselves? I shake my head silently. That's a nice thought, but we have no idea where Hebijo headquarters is. Katsuragi sinks at my words. Um, Hibari speaks to break the tension. But master, you're here now, so you should be fine. That's right, with you at our side, um, Ikaruga nods in agreement with Hibari. Relief floods the students' faces. Yeah, man, I mean, Kiria's back, man. They can find this nigger. They can find these niggas. They all rely on me. This is true. Though they've... They're the studying as shinobi, their normal lives stopped only a few years ago. It's natural that they'd be intimidated at fighting a powerful opponent, but that's why. I will not be assisting you against the Hibijo. My students are stunned into silence. Why not? Please tell us the reason. Ikaruga pleads at a distinctive pause. Wow, that's crazy. Master Kiryu, you're not going to help us? You're abandoning us. Hibari pleads um, doubtly on the verge of tears. I've said this to all of you before. You're all shinobi students, and you must be prepared for the worst. I use the most authoritative voice I can muster. What the fuck's going on here, Kiryu? I will never forget what happened during Rin's final examination. Not until the day I die. What the fuck went down? This is your final exam. Do well, and you will be a full-fledged shinobi. I'm nervous. She seemed to grasp how important this was. If she failed the test, the path of the shinobi would forever be closed to her. See, the final exam has to be completed before finishing one's time at the academy. And as a third year student, this was to be Rin's very last chance. The final exam involves a real combat. The opponents are wooden puppets equipped with actual weapons. In order to pass, the student must destroy all of these puppets within the time limit. Rin's dedication was unmatched, but she was a bit scatterbrained and her grades weren't the best. If she didn't put forth her best effort, passing would be a very difficult prospect. Okay, here I go. She left for the test site. Oh shit. I thought I saw a bit of shiver as I watched her go. She spoke, um, gli gliably of wanting to be a super ninja, but the truth is that she was actually quite naive. But she was also my first student. I wanted more than anything to send her out. Oh, whoops, I didn't see that. Whoops. I wanted more than anything to send her out into the world of Shinobi as she desired. A wooden puppet leaped out the grass. Rin calmly cut it down with her sword. Okay, I got it. Shortly after, another puppet popped out. And they're using actual weapons, so... I guess this is not going to end well. Having defeated one, she looked confident. One after another, the puppets were felled. This is nothing. Rin was in perfect form. Her defense and swings were on par with that of a shinobi master. Her training so far had really paid off. Though she fought with a fluid grace, I still felt a touch uneasy. Stay calm, Rin. Stay focused. Be aware of your surroundings. You're doing well, but that's what scares me. When one does well, one gets cocky. And then, my fears were confirmed. Holy shit, what happened to this girl? A puppet with a gun had been stationed. A puppet with a gun had been stationed 50 meters away from Rin atop a tree. It raised the gun and took aim. She seemed to have no clue of its presence. What was I supposed to do? If I did nothing, Rin would be shot. And if that happened, the test would be halted. Her dreams of becoming a shinobi would be shattered. Damn, man. Without even thinking, I had begun to move. A high-level shinobi can, if he tries hard, 
enough cover 50 meters of ground in an instant. I destroyed the puppet and I covered my tracks. This posed no trouble for me. As a teacher, I was racked with guilt. I knew full well that I had done something wrong. But my desire to see Rin's dream come true was overpowering. God damn! Wait a minute, so he was able to stop the puppet within an instant and no one even knew that it was him that stopped it? This nigga was a master. He was a fucking master. Jesus. I did it. I beat all of them. Rin was jumping up and down in the grass. Her time was up and Rin had otherwise completed the test. It was immediately declared that she had passed and she was assigned a position as a full-fledged shinobi starting the very next day. Rin ran over to me and her eyes flooded with tears of pure joy. Master, thank you for everything. I'm going to be a super ninja. Yeah, I look forward to it. I can see why he... That would be the last time she and I spoke. It was only a few months later. Oh my god, man. She wasn't ready, bro. She wasn't ready. The principal informed me of Rin's death. My mind went a perfect blank white, and I can't remember much of what was said after that. Damn! Kyria! Oh my god, man. She had volunteered for a difficult mission, and as a result, she lost her life. Volunteered for a difficult mission? Why would she have done that? Why didn't someone stop her? She was still too green. This was all my fault. I tried to wrap my head around what had happened, but all I kept thinking was, it's my fault. If I hadn't helped her during her final exam, Rin would not have become a shinobi. Her dream would have been lost to her, but at least she would still be alive. I killed Rin. Damn! Kill ya! Shit. Fuck, man. I wept. For the first time in my life, I wept aloud. Um, Poppy Silly said, um, $1.69, that story plotline, though. Yeah, man. Jesus. That's crazy. She got tharged. People in the chat need to stop. They need to stop. For the first time in my life, I wept aloud. My parents had driven the point home from an early age that one who would be Shinobi must set aside all feelings. And yet, I wept. I could do nothing else. Those who rely on me during the fight with Kibijo should give up on being Shinobi and leave. If I were to aid my students in fighting off the Hibijo, I really wouldn't be helping them at all. The path of the Shinobi is a harsh one. One must continue to fight even when no help is coming. I can do but one thing for those who seek to become a part of that world. I can teach them not to be overcome with emotion. There's no need for me to lend a comforting hand. She wasn't ready. <laughs> nah, she, was <laughs> she wasn't ready, yo. I can teach them not to become... Rin's fate must never be allowed to happen again. The students listen to my words in silence. But not one of them moves to leave. Master Kiryu, I need more training, please. Asuka shouts, raising her hand. Same here. All you got, because Hataragi shouts in return. I'm Ikaruga and Yayu quietly raise their own hands. I'll do my best. I'll fight without relying on you, so please, Master Kiria, work me hard. Oh god. Oh, he's gonna work you alright. Even Hibari gives me a look of absolute resolve. A part of me still feels a natural doubt, but their passion is infectious. I smile, and I say, I can see your resolve, so let's begin training. I cannot directly watch over my students, but I can teach the techniques necessary for them to protect themselves. I finally get what it means to be a greater shinobi. I will pass on all the skills and knowledge that I have, and I will teach them everything and hide nothing. They will carry on and survive for future battles. It is the one way that I can protect my students. Whew! Things got a little heavy there, man. Things got a little heavy there, man. Damn. Katsuragi. Hey. Are you alright? What do you mean? You still look quite depressed. Depressed? Me? And uh, please, that doesn't bother me that Hibo Hibijo beat us. She's... Damn, Katsuragi! She's hiding so much underneath that smile, yo. 
Damn, girl, you ain't gotta hide it like that. All right, so as long as you feel well. Sorry. Thanks for taking the time to ask, though. In return, I'll give you a good motorboating. Wow, really? A good motorboating. Katsuragi, man. She's hiding how she really feels, yo. Everything is just masked underneath that smile, man. It's so sad when you think about it, you know? No, thank you very much. Um, but if you should feel the need to talk to me in the future, then please let me know. Yeah, man, that's crazy, man. Her in reality, man, yo, Ika Ruga, man, she... I hope... I don't know, man, it's so... You gotta do what you can to defend yourself, I guess, but... Man, she's hiding everything, yo. I can't sneak anything past her. It took her no time at all to notice that I was depressed. Damn. 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 You're strong. I can't believe that you brought me to my knees. That girl brought her to her knees? Shit. You're disappointingly weak. Wow. Katsuragi, she really got beat. Am I really that weak? She made me feel like a complete idiot. I ain't about to just take this line down, though. I'll train, and I'll train some more until there's no way that she can beat me. Let's go, Katsuragi! Let's go! Yo! Let's go! Let's go! Okay. Oh, you gotta destroy the straw post? Oh, okay. Let's destroy the straw post then. Damn, man. This story, yo. This story definitely is existing, yo. I didn't think that there would be story like that to this extent, but there is, yo. There is. There really is. And considering um, Ikaruga, oh, excuse me, um, excuse me. Um, there's so many names to mess with, but um, considering that um, that uh, Katsuragi is the strongest member of the group, and they still got beaten. Is some really wild shit, man. So the Hadijo are not a joke, man. These guys are serious. They're not equal in the slightest right now, yeah, apparently. Um, let me see. Where are the, where are the other posts at? There we go. Okay. Hopefully we didn't fuck that one up too much. Okay. One and a done. Let's go. You know what that pose would be focused on. A B rank? Not too bad. Not too bad. Unlock the new picture. Yeah. I'm tough. The toughest one around. you damn right, Katsuragi. Just you wait, Hikage. Next time I see you, your ass is mine. In more ways than one, I bet. And you know what? I think you're due for some of my trademark groping hell. God damn. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's, gonna, she's gonna put Hikage to the test. Pretty damn evident. Um, damn, Katsuragi is just a very... She's a deep character, yo. She is really deep. You see what the girls are saying. I think the trick is to learn one's own weaknesses and heighten one's own devotion. Learn what you're lacking in now. Calmly focus your training on improving that. In the end, one can only rely on oneself. If your strength is lacking, then you must train. There is no other means of surviving. Now, more than ever, we have to go one day at a time. The journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step, and all that. Keep your spirits up, sink or swim. You gotta keep moving forward. Damn right, man. One defeat don't mean that much, man. You gotta keep keep everything progressing. Nothing cheers me up like sweets. I think they put people in. I think they put something in candy to make people feel happy. But all right, now I'm ready for anything. Damn right, Hibari, let's go. Um, 
Kiria says, I can only teach you the methods of survival, but if you make proper use of them during missions, you will be fine. Remember, death is the ultimate defeat. There is no good way to die, so above all else, make sure you survive. Damn right. And um, I actually want to see what um, Katsuragi has to say as well too, so we're going to change characters really quick. Let's go. Wait, where's she at? Where's she at, though? Damn, man. I'm surprised by this fucking story, man. Don't worry about me. Just let me rub on you a little bit and I'll be fine. <laughs> Come on. Don't tell me I have to make do with rubbing myself. I may cry. <laughs> what the hell? Or at least I know some more about where I need to improve. I'm going to totally get them back. Damn right. Let's go. Right, let's do another mission. This time I want to I want to do a mission that has um that girl um Yagyu cuz she got a gun on the fucking on the fucking uh yo. Okay, so here we go. Next mission, the lovable Hibari. So Hibari is looking rather depressed. Yagyu, I'd like to I like you to try cheering her up. I'll leave the method up to your discretion. And thankfully, I'm hoping it won't involve groping her like it does usually with Katsu cuz I mean goddamn, this girl all that that's the only thing that's on her mind, I guess on the outside. Deep down though, man, her parents what the fuck happened to them? Damn. Um, okay. Um, oh yeah, the person who keeps spamming wear the Splatoon hat. Keep going, man. Keep going. <laughs> this dude's dedicated, yo. Maybe if you ask enough, it'll happen. Um, what is it, Hibari? You look down. What, is your stomach bothering you? Uh, Yagyu, I'm wondering if maybe I'm not cut out to be a shinobi. No surprise that she's doubting herself, considering that she knows she's like first year student at this shit? Um, what has got you thinking that? I've been training really hard, like Master Kiryu says, but I don't feel like I'm getting any stronger. I keep getting hurt during training, or causing trouble for everybody to boot. Not true. I assure you, no one thinks that you're trouble. Nah, no, seriously, that sounds really nice to say, but I suck no matter how hard I try. Well, let's get something to eat. A few places here always have a line because the food's so popular. Bad girl, and I don't think it's a bad girl in the sense that we all like. It's, it's a it's a bad girl. It's a it's a bad girl. Yeah. Hey you, that donut money is mine. Give it back. Wrong. It belongs to Hibari. Shut it. Either give it back or I'll get rough with you. You're just jealous because I got the last one, aren't you? Well, have it your way. Let's do this. Yagi, you're not supposed to pull out the shinobi skills in public against niggas. Like, come on. Come on. I'll put on the squid hat when we play Splatoon. Uh, my hair is done well right now. If I put that Splatoon hat on, it's gonna fuck my shit up. Um, let's go. Let's go, uh, Yagi. Let's do it. I need to see more of this girl's combos because she's got a gun on her, yo. She's got a fucking gun. Okay, come on. Wait, let me. Let's kill these enemies real quick. What the hell? Alright, she's got some shit with that umbrella that she used. She's not as fast as the other girl, though. Okay, so let's see what's up with these combos. Okay, let's see. That's what one button press. Oh, okay, so it's only two button presses, and she'll do that. So just two button presses. Okay, I got it. And then we have the normal attack, which is this. No, no. This is a normal. And then we can do Y, 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 Y. And then we can do um, Y, Y, X. Or we can do Y, 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 X. So Y, Y, X. Y, 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 X. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Hey. She's not as fast, but you know, she, she's got a weird quirkiness to it. I like it. Let's go. Oh, she has a um a shuriken, a, a, a fucking knife. Hey, those shots do a lot of damage, yo. Yeah, her running speed is even low. And she doesn't jump as high either, for the first jump at least. Hey. 
Let's see the Shinobi transformation. Yeah, game over. Oh lord. <laughs> Good god almighty. Time to disappear. Let's go. Same combos, but you know, we didn't level up too much, so I mean, understandable. I hate when they do that reflective stomach thing. Fuck. Oh, I'm trying to get used to this shit. Yeah, things are a little bit different with her, since she's not as fast, I guess. Um, it seems like the regular combo is good for um, gathering a big group. Hey, let's go! Still alive, huh? Hey! Whoops! Let's try what her special is. What the hell? That looks like it'll be good to keep up a combo. That looks like it'll be real good to keep up a combo. Yo, combos seem like they'll be real easy for, um... Because she has the gun, so it can keep up the combo from far away. Yeah, the gun is so useful for keeping up a combo. I can see that shit being so useful, yo. Yo, okay. Um, a dollar from HR. Oh shit. Sadly, I won't be on top to man, don't you even worry about that, man. Don't you even worry about that, HR. I ain't about that, man. Um come on people, donate for the service of good friend Etika's. You know, I'm, I'm glad to be streaming, man. I'm having a lot of fun doing this in general. I mean, for the people that do support, though, it is appreciated. But, um, yo, man, thank you for coming through. What's going on? Did I... Oh, I fucked her up. Okay. HR, man, always coming through, showing the love, man. I'm glad to see you around, dude. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, man. Well, you guys were good at at least acting tough. Oh, you're so strong. Not at all like me. Not even a little bit. Which is why... You don't understand where I'm coming from. Come on. I'll take a swing, Hibari. I'll spar with you. Why the hell would I want to spar with you? I want to test how strong you actually are. So, um, here we go. What would be the point? It's not like I'd stand a chance against you. We're done talking. It's time to fight. Okay. By all means, let's go. You know, it seems like Hibari and Yagi were always fighting, you know? Let's go. Hibari's looking rather depressed. Yagi, I'd like you to start cheering her up. Yeah, cheer her up by fucking her up, yeah. Oh shit, she's fucking us up. Let's play careful here. Oh my god! Already? Oh, Yagi. Oh shit. Okay, she's a little tougher now. Fuck, we messed that one up. Let's shoot her from afar. Let's get for a Bari, man. We're not trying to waste time with this shit. Oh, fuck. Hey! Let's go. <laughs> what the hell? That's a different animation than the one we usually see. Damn! Yo, this... Y yo, Yagyu is kinda hardcore. She's kinda hardcore, yo. She just... Boosh, boosh, just busting up, and the shots look like they do so much damage. Only a C rank, though, so you know, we gotta, we gotta level up Yagyu a bit. We got to. Um, a new accessory added to the um, dressing room. And a new music track. Very good stuff. Um, yo, the way those gunshots, they look like they do fucking damage. It's like, god damn. Uh, I knew I'd never win, but, um, still. Still. Somehow I feel better. Like, 
If I have the time to be all mopey and depressed, then I'm better off getting my butt in gear. Get that butt in gear, Hibari. That's what, that's my advice too. Get it in gear. <laughs> I'll agree with that. Um, thank you, Yagi. Um, as long as you get the message, it's not, it's no problem. Now here's your donut bunny. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, amazing. Keep me fed like that, and I'll love you forever. Well, you guys know what to do. <laughs> I'm just glad that you liked it. Yagyu, yeah, I promise I won't give up, and I'm going to show you just how strong I can be. Right, that part of you is why you're so special to me. Nice. Did you say something? Nah, nothing important. Don't worry about it. Nah, oh, this is so cute. Yagyu, yeah, she, she lets it slip out a little bit, but you know, she keeps it in, and that's cool. That's fun. Um, but all right, man. But all right, so I think we've done a lot of progress, man. We've learned a lot about um, we learned a lot about um, Katsuragi, big time, and um, Kiria. I didn't realize that we would be learning the story behind him so early. So it's kind of like eye-opening. Like that's why he behaves the way he does. It's very he's kind of strict with them to the sense where you know he's ready to say you know if you ain't ready for this shit, leave. I'm not stopping you because he doesn't want something like. He doesn't want something like what happened to Rin to happen again. I gotta understand that. Uh, a dollar from Chatty Fan to me. Um, nigga, I told you this game has nice plot. I was not kidding. Also, you can use the short, da the, the short dash to cancel animations and reset combos. Ah, really now? Okay, so the short dash, you can just use that conti to continue something. Now more than ever, we have to go one day at a time. The journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. Oh, okay, so they're saying the same thing. Same thing? Okay. Very interesting stuff, man. So let's actually save the game right now. Oh, whoops. Oh, no, no, we, we did get it. Um, I'm gonna save this game here. And those are the other girls that we get to play as too, I guess, on the left side, right? So, um, all right. Now that we have that done, we can actually um, see what Yagyu's uh, alternate um, outfits are, considering she said, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, let me see, let me see. I like the standard blue one for her. That's fine. Swimsuits. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I mean, I guess she's one of those petite kind of girls, but it's like... Like, how is a girl that's so petite got these massive... Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, come on. I mean, I'm... Like, my girlfriend's petite as well, too. She's only five foot. But God Almighty, you like those things are the size of watermelons. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, man. Anyways, um, uh, this one seemed like it was kind of cooler on her, I suppose. I hate that kind of thing. I, I know. Don't worry, it won't take too long. I, I guess gotta do it for for viewership's sake. Yeah, that, that's it. And then um, Shinobi outfits. Let's see what she got going on here. Cause her outfit, I like it. I like the little um, the black scarf that she puts on. I don't know if that's like a shirt or whatever, but um. It's a very cool looking thing there. Um, let's see. Someone said Chris. Oh, whoops. Close your eyes. Nah, I'm sorry. We have to see what we're changing here. We have to see what we're changing here. Um, okay, hold B and blow on Mike. I tried holding B. It doesn't do it. It makes me leave. Um, hell no. That doesn't suit her at all. Um, this one. Eh. That one seems like it's more of her style, I think. Yeah, we'll do this one. That one seems cool. Okay, we're gonna keep that one. I don't think I would like her in the Shrine Girl outfit. Yeah. Yeah, that's not really her thing, I guess. But, um, we can definitely do this one. Yeah, now we can do the extras. Smart glasses? Nah. Not you. And then, um, let's see. Short wing? Probably not, but, um... Yeah, nah. You know what they say. All toasters is the problem. Okay, so here we go. We got everything set for um for my girl Yagyu. And um, that's basically it, man. We've been streaming for, what, um, two hours, ten minutes? Um, we're pretty solid right now. I'm going to save the game one more time. Let's save those outfit changes. But alright, guys. So we have, um, we're pretty much done with this session for now. Let me see. I'm going to go back. But alright, so, yeah, that was basically it, man. I had a lot of fun with this stream. 
a bit more uh, a bit more text than I expected. Those um, those visual novel parts are kind of long, a little bit tedious, but you learn a lot of valuable bits of information in them. So I apologize if that kind of slowed things down for you guys. But you know, I, like I said, I really like the idea of there being a story attached to a game that has this much visual appeal. And you know, the frame rate is one thing, but the game is really engaging. The story's there. It's definitely there. You guys have seen it today. The story is really there. I am blown away by it. So I mean. I'm glad about that. We found out some really good stuff today with that. And then in terms of the gameplay, you know, not too much was explored today with the gameplay. I explored, well, besides the new characters, of course, uh, mainly um, Katsuragi and um, Yagyu. We saw, we got to see what these characters play like, and I like uh, Yagyu a bit more than Katsuragi. I, Katsu, um, Katsuragi, yeah. I think uh, Yagyu's got a, a bit more of an appeal because she uses the, the, the gun on the um, umbrella, which is really useful to keep out those combos in case you're not right next to a bunch of enemies, so her range is somewhere else. And I can only imagine, as you level Yagyu up, what her um, gun combos would be as she continues to grow, so I'm excited to see that. Um, with Katsuragi, I'm more interested in her from like a story perspective because she's got a lot going on underneath all that smiling and groping. And I'm I'm glad to see there's that level of depth in these characters where they go a little bit of a layer underneath of what's on the surface. Katsuragi's fighting style? A little bit odd. And I, I, I can't wait to see her X combo get expanded more. Um, hopefully it does expand more so that way um, there'll be more things to do off of making them trip. Because, but, because I like the cartwheel into the trip, but um, still, I'm, I'm really excited to see where the combos go from here. Um, you guys, I gotta say thank you to you dudes, being my viewers, and um, giving me those tips during the stream to be able to keep keep my mind open to stuff. I guess I didn't really need too many tips this time, because I already have super leveled up characters, but um, I still appreciate all the uh, comments that were happening. I know I didn't really read that many of them in this video. Um, this was more a stream focused on the video itself rather than um, the comments per se, but you know, I see everything you guys are saying. The comments are literally right here, so I mean, there's no way I can possibly miss them. Anyways, guys, um, that's basically where we're going to wrap this up. Let me know what you think about this, and of course, um, if you guys want to see more of Senran Kagura, leave a like. Like I said, there's no guarantee that I'm finishing this right now because, I mean, well, well, I mean, the, the first one did well, but you know, I'm still not sure exactly where people stand with this, so any support is definitely helpful for me to gauge where people want this to go. Um, but yeah, man, that's basically it. Uh, thank you once again to everybody who donated as well, too. The donations today were out of this world. I am blown away by how much goddamn support you dudes gave me today, considering that we streamed yesterday and um, people contributed an insane amount, you know, and it's not even about the dollar amounts with the dollars and one, just the fact that people were willing to do that, to go out of their way to help my ass is just fucking eye-opening to me. But then again, I can understand why. Because last month, I donated over $500 to random streams that I watched. Because, I don't know, I mean, the way I see it is, when, if I enjoy watching somebody, I like seeing their reaction to things. Like, um, for example, EE, -E, man, I, I donated this guy um, $100 because, you know, I just loved watching EE, -E, man. He made me laugh so much. He's an entertaining guy. I never even met the dude in real life. I never even had a personal conversation with the dude, really. But, you know, when someone entertains you like that, and, you know, especially when someone's being real, like the way EE -E is, you give. You give, man. And I like giving if I have it, that is, you know? And, you know, when I have it, I give when I can, you know? A little bit here, a little bit there. You know, it not only shows support for those people, but at the same time, it, it warms your heart too because it's awesome to see those people that you contribute to, you know, get excited about something. So I guess that's the reason why most of you niggas donate to me because um, you just like seeing me, you know, either interact or get excited. And I, I understand where you're coming from 100% with that because I contributed a lot too, man. And you know, some people, like, some people, like, saw how much I gave and they were like, Etika, wait a minute, damn, man, you gave that much? Like, why would you do that? I mean, but it's hard to explain it until you have. Like, when you have an abundance, then, you know, you give a little bit. You give a little bit. The more you have, the more you give, you know? So, I mean, I think that's the way the universe works. And it's not like you expect anything in return for it. You just kind of, it warms your heart, you know? It warms your balls down, man. It, it, it's hard to explain. But anyways, guys. Anyways, we 
are going to end the stream here. Thank you so much for chilling with me today. Um, news videos have been kind of on a hiatus as well, too. Those are coming back with a vengeance, trust me. Um, my sleep schedule is fucked up. I woke up at 7, no, no, excuse me, I woke up at 6.30 p.m. today, 30 minutes before the stream. Um, Link Master in the building, Link Master. Yo, the support, this dude's been in here. This dude's been in here. Um, I don't even know if this is your kind of game, Link Master, but yo, he's in here, man. Thank you, man. This dude's always coming through, always showing the love. I'm always happy when I see this dude show up, man. I know he's watching. It's good to know, man. I, you know, all you niggas in the stream as well, too. Sorry I couldn't wear the squid hat. That'll go down when we play Splatoon. Anyways, guys, we ended the stream there. And before we end it, I got to give a quick shout-out to everybody who contributed to me in this stream. I got to give you niggas a shout-out because, I mean, you didn't have to do that, but you did it anyways. And because you did it, I gotta shout you out. So let's do it from the top. Johnny Sins, um, Dig Bick, Brian, Resident Sleeper 22, Terry Braun, um, we got Big Toe, Lord Cameron, Erica for Smash, Shiny Caterpie, um, Kochu, Chatty Fan to Me, um, Song a Fan, we got the Fast Cockroach, um, ZM Madness, Mr. Chris 8110, Bits HK, Poppy's Poppy Silly. Um, HR, my dude HR in the building, showing some support, man. Um, yo, HR, man, Hall of Fame topper, that's crazy. Um, we also have Link Master ending it off, man. Yo, a lot of support today. I appreciate it, my niggas. Thank you so much for helping your boy stay alive out here. Like I said, you didn't have to donate like that, but you did. I appreciate it, man. This game is looking like it's going to take one hell of a turn, considering that we have such deep plot development in only the second chapter? How many chapters are in this game? Like 10? We got a lot to look forward to, man. I hope you guys are excited for the future of this game. I am too. So far, we're going to keep this Let's Play going. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'm going to have... Oh. HR coming through talking about I can't wait for the next stream. Yo, you got it, man. Um, I don't know if this game would be suitable for everybody. You know, it's a different kind of game than what I usually play, I guess. But um, I'm glad some people that watch my other things are enjoying watching me play this. So it's appreciated, man. Um, that's the way we're going to end it, man. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll tell... Oh, shit. Um, Silver Ab... Oh, Silver Abso! Oh, man. Taking last donation spot? Yo, this man... <laughs> this man's dedicated. <laughs> God damn. Um, Silver Absol, man, showing some support all the time. Thank you. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Definitely. This dude was here all through yesterday. He's through all of the streams before. So, I mean, hey, the streaming thing is going to be normalized. This is going to be regular. I'm going to try to see if I can stream a game video, or if I'm, if I'm doing a serious Let's Play, I'm going to try to see if I can stream it, like, maybe, like, a two-hour stream once a week. I don't know. I don't know. I'm playing with the times, man. I got to play with them. Anyways, guys, this is it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, I'll talk to you niggas in the next video. That'll be that. Um, take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, as usual, well, please have yourselves a damn... Oh, and by the way, um, actually, wait, what? Oh, we gotta, we gotta raid someone. We gotta raid someone. I'm sorry, I totally forgot. That's something I've been meaning to do for a while now. So you know what? Let's get ready to raid somebody. I am going to um, open up my main screen right now. So give me a second here. We gotta raid someone. We gotta raid someone well this time too, you know? We can't just do something. Son, oh, another donation coming in. God damn, man. I'm HR saying no, I'm last. You, you first you compete for top spot, now you're competing for last donation. <laughs> Your niggas are insane. I, I mean, you're, you're hilarious. I love it. It's hilarious. But I mean, good God almighty, man. It's like, it, what an example they're setting. God. But okay, so let's actually get a raid going on. We're going to go to the web browser right now. Okay, so we are here in the web browser. Let's check out Twitch right now. Let's see what's going on. Um, we're going to raid somebody, man. We're going to raid somebody. Let's go. I can't put links in the goddamn chat for some strange reason, but we're still going to raid someone anyways. Let's see. Let's see if we can raid somebody new, somebody we haven't raided before. Um, oh, VG Bootcamp is actually streaming right now. And then we also have uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon. We got J-Tails. We have um, Duncan Knee Deep. Let me see, we got Chillin' Dude. Um, what do you guys want to watch? What do you, what do you guys want? Oh, Bizarro Flame. Um, oh, we have Link Master coming in with a dollar. Um, taking last spot again. Good God Almighty. Um, thank you, man. Thank you. But uh, that's. I feel like your donation is more of a challenge than anything else. But uh, 
Hey, do you, man. I, I ain't going to be here forever, man. We're, we're about to end this stuff. We're just going to find somebody to hit. Who should we hit? Right, Num Nexus? A dollar from Lord Cameron. Yo, yo, come on, cat. This dude. Yo, this dude's Lord, man. This dude's Lord is all over the place, man. Yo, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. Holy shit. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Who are we going to go after? Who are we going to go after? Um, VG Bootcamp? You niggas want to watch some Smash? They're playing some Melee. Melee, but let's hit somebody who doesn't have the numbers like that. Oh, J-Tails! I haven't seen J-Tails in a while, man. I haven't seen J-Tails in a while. Terry Braun is still here. Oh, wait, dude, I thought you left. I thought you left. I thought you left. You still here, man? Shit. Okay. Um, we're gonna go for J-Tails, man. So let me copy his link real quick. Copy his link address. And let's see, I'm going to put it here. Um, I'm going to actually post it in the uh, chat so you guys can see it. Uh, Twitch.tv um, slash JTail. So I'm just going to copy it like this and I'm going to post it in the chat right here. So um, let me see, let me see. I really want to raid JTails, man. JTails is an awesome dude. So um, wait, actually, let me go to the stream right now, actually. Uh, live right now. A, don a dollar from HR taking the last bar. Good God. I think HR might get it, man. I think that's going to be it. I think that's going to be it. Wait a minute. Wait, I got to bring the chat into here. Oh, whoops. Um, I'm sorry. I totally forgot that the chat was um, there. Let me bring them in. Let me bring you niggas in. There we go. We got the chat in here now. Um, here we go. Perfect. Wait a minute. Song song and fan donated 250. Love the stream, my nigga. Thank you, man. Thank you. I, I, I'm hoping you guys had a good time. It wasn't what the stuff we usually play. And, you know, I mean, I'm, I, I still had fun, though. Resident Sleeper came through with the A. <laughs> a. <laughs> <laughs> this is becoming a cock swinging contest, man. All right, so there we go. Um, no, there we go. So we got the chat in here now. I'm gonna copy this link from JTails. Do I still have it? No, I do not. Okay, come on, JTails, man. Um, link master, another dollar saying T he. Good God Almighty. Oh wait, the raid is already happening here. Come on, man. You niggas didn't even let me get to the fucking thing yet. You niggas didn't even let me get to the thing yet. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 I need to post it first. <laughs> what the hell? HR saying, what have I done? <laughs> Seriously, that's what I said, man, you fucking, <laughs> HR, what are you doing? You're, you're, you're making this shit go too live. Alright, I'm in my stream now, we're gonna go to the stream, I'm going to mute the volume, and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to post JTails' link. Go, 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 raid him. Sky Invictus saying hi. A new, <laughs> a new challenger. God Almighty! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm almost done, man. Like you, you dudes are competing for this shit. Like I'm almost done. Wait, wait, wait. go raid, wait, go raid him. Go, go raid him. Go raid him. I'm posting his link right now. Go raid him. Go raid him. Go his own RBX donate a dollar saying last, please. Surprise, Lenny face here. Hey, we. <laughs> um, go zone, man. Yo, you really throwing your hat into the ring like that, bro? Do you know what you just joined into, bro? This is a fucking clusterfuck, man. Just, just go raid J-Tails. Go raid his ass. Go raid his ass. Go raid his ass. We in here. We in here. I'm gonna close this for now. A Lord Cameron says, and cut. Hold on, I just wanna hear his reaction. He's using Robin? Let's go, Jay. Let's go, Jay. Let's go, Jay. You in here? You in there? He looks a little pissed off. <laughs> he looks a little damn, pissed off. Son, um, Link Master like donated a dollar. God damn, man. Link Master ending this. I think he might catch it. Using the Red Robin. Hey, hey. Totally the Red it. Robin. Yeah. Let's go. My man Jay. Oh, and it's my six month anniversary of being subscribed to him, you know? Glad to show you my support, Jay Tails. He's an awesome dude, and his streams are very entertaining. You know. If you got it, support the man. You know, I gotta show support for the dude, my man. Jay is my dude. Um, Linkmaster with the, the last dollar talking about nope.abr. <laughs> nope.abr. <laughs> Jay, I'm sorry. I had to do it. I had to do it, Jay. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to. <laughs> um, Linkmaster, man. Come on. This, this is a serious raid, yo. God damn. Do it. Raid is a. Oh Time lord. Scales. Let's go. T -t -t Time to tip the scales. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. There's a 
Thunder. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Let's see if he wins this one. Oh, yeah, he's definitely going to win it. I'll, I'll he's throw. definitely going to win it. But I'm holding, I'm hey, holding left. Hey, so if you guys don't know, J Tails is a Smash god. Top, definitely one of the top 15 yeah. in the world with Smash 4. Um, he was the originator of the Diddy Kong um, before Zero got on top. But uh, yeah, man. Jay, oh, I'm glad this dude's I'm glad this dude's having a good time. Oh my god. Um, yo, he's every time he looks at the chat, it's just the, like, what the, the fuck? The raid is still going. The raid is real, <laughs> the yo. He's so strong. God damn. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for being up in here. Oh shit, All HR talk about well, I think I done fucked up. Nice. HR man, you always do this shit, man. You always come into the stream and you start a goddamn a fireball. <laughs> like, why you do this? Okay, why you do this, right. HR? Why you do this? But okay, guys, I just want to see him win this one. Damn, come on, Jay, you can't lose this. Yeah. Terry Braun says, "Fuck this, end the stream." I want to see Jay. I want to see Jay pull through. I need to see him pull through with Red Robin, Calm man. Down. Come on. You. Half Ooh, that was to, to win. Time. Come on, Jay. Come on. Don't disgrace the Red Robin. Don't disgrace the Red Robin. No sparato. Come on, Jay. You got this, man. Oh, he was trying to read that. They he was trying to read the roll. I'm sorry. They got a buff, Robin. They need yeah, Robin to. definitely would be good with the buff. The come on, no, please, Jay. Don't lose. Don't lose, Jay. Damn, son. Where'd you find um, Link Master said, "I know, right." Trust me, the, I don't know who's gonna get top at this point, but oh no, Jay! Uh, Jay! Oh, Jay! No, Red Robin! What is going on? Red Robin! No! No! Bible thump! Bible thump! Bible thump! Bible thump! Um, song fan, donate 250 again. Um, hey, you getting some pizza tonight, my boy? Yeah, man. It's for me? Hey. It's for me? This is for me? This is me? No, let's go. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. Right, yo, Come on, on, Jay. Hold let's on. go. You, let's right. go, man. I Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. You got me. You got to win, man. You got to win. No fucking around this time. Um, Lord Cameron donated a dollar saying, I'm <laughs> yo, man. Bible thumb. Let's get the Bible yo, thumb going. Boys, What's up, guys? How's everybody doing? I got my message deleted. <laughs> I'm spamming. <laughs> oh, Lord. That is. All right, this peace. For glory. This is like oh, shit. Right Damn, oh, Holy shit. Holy shit. Um, Krim donated a... Let's go. Come on, Come on win Robin. with... No you gotta win with Red Robin, baby. Red you gotta Robin. win with Red Robin. Tell him, Etika. Tell him. Let's go! Tell him. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Red Robin... I tip the scales on I tip the scales for a living. I tip the scales for a living. I tip the scales for a living. Right, the scales for a living. There you go. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. Damn, Come on, Jay. Goes on RBS donated a dollar saying, uh... Mad of him. I'm sorry this thing is going on. I'm, thinking, I'm sorry this thing is still going on. But God, man, I gotta see this man win. I gotta see this man win. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. No disrespect. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, baby. Let's go, Jay. Don't let this end on a bad note. Link Master says, I want to face your Red Robin with my Robin someday. Lil, Link Master, it's gonna happen, baby. When the next Smash stream goes down, trust me, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Um. Come on, Robin. Come on. Damn, Jay. Damn, Jay. He's right there. He's literally right in front of your face. Come on, Jay. Oh, damn. Oh. A dollar from Silver Absol YouTube. You're still here, man? I walk Yo, away for one that. second and niggas is already oh. trying to commit thievery. This is my spot. <laughs> this is my spot. This is your swamp? I guess this is Silver um, Silver Absol swamp, man. That niggas is going to his swamp. I can't believe he's getting fucked up this bad with Robin. Oh. Come on, Jay. Damn, son. Where'd you find Rap. this? Oh, what the fuck? Right. Zeno the Wise one three five donated fifty dollars. Edgar, your first visit. Damn. Zeno, yo, fucking Christ, the stream's over, my dude. The stream what is over. Damn. Damn. This lag is just. Timur is bad. Zero donated dollars. We need to raid a right. Minecraft kid right, after this. Yo. There we go. Eat that. Damn, bro. Skyward Dragon, thank you for the follow. Holy shit! Follows Zeno, damn man. I mean Timorous, yeah. We, I, we, 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 damn. Mark fire into Come on. Smash. Oh my god. Son, where'd you find this? H. Oh, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? The stream is over. The only guy who has a stream watching another stream and people actually like it. I'm off to bed and also I'm on top. Have fun with that. Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? 
The stream is over. Damn, dudes. Zeno and HR, what the fuck is going on? The stream is over. I'm just watching this. I just wanted to, I just, all I wanted to do was see this man win with Red Robber once. I hope it happens this time. But God damn. You guys didn't have to do that. Damn. Damn. Lord Cameron, um, my spot beat it, chumps. I guess you're the last one, man, because it looks like this match is about to end. But God almighty, top spot taken by HR, man. And Zeno, man, right behind. God damn. Oh my god, can't even know Sriracha. Jay, come on, man. You gotta win after this. You gotta win after this. Linkmaster, last donation. I hope you continue after having fun. Anyway, see you later and have a great time. Linkmaster, yo, take care, bro. Thank you. Thank you so for being through to the stream. Regular oh, he lost. No, Jay. Jay. Japan, you got it right. Oh well, you know what? It's okay, man. No. Damn. The raid is still going, yo. What are you guys doing? Oh man, it goes on RBS. All right, guys. All right, I gotta end this before this goes too crazy. I gotta end this before this goes too crazy, yo. You know what I'm gonna do? This is what I'm gonna do. Jay, now nah, I can't keep the stream going forever, Damn, Jay. I can't son, keep it going forever. Just right? do it's it. getting kind of crazy in here. Um, Jihu, as I say, can I run to this? That's online co op. Oh, shit. Online co op for Senator and Kagura, too? That's a good thing. That's a good thing. All right, guys. Not I'm going to see you later, man. Too. We're ending the stream right now. This is getting too crazy, man. People are going too insane right now. This has to stop. Yo, man. HR and Zeno doing those massive donations at the end out of nowhere. Thank you guys, man. Thank you guys so goddamn much, man. Insane stuff, man. Hopefully you have fun watching Jay. I hope he wins this game. Too bad he couldn't win with Red Robin early on. But you know what? It's fine, man. Hey, hey, Robin ain't exactly, I guess, the most adaptive character. But it's all good, man. Jay, man, I hope you tip the scales. And I hope you guys had a good time. I certainly did. I had a lot of fun. Shout out to all those people who contributed once again. They didn't Damn, have to do son, it. Where'd you find this? Um, Silver apps on YouTube. Next Smash stream, I want to arc thunder your ass. Yeah, man, you're going to do that. And you also got the last spot, man. I, congrats. <laughs> Take care, guys. And of course, as usual, please have yourselves a damn good one. Bye-bye. Wait, oh, wait, I got to click this. Yeah, here we go. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Uh, actually, it was Future Gotenks. Future Gotenks. Sniped. Gotenks wins from out of nowhere. <laughs> yo, he sniped the stream. Yo, he got it. He got it. You got it. Gotenks, you got it, bro. It's over. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. You got it. Good shit.